Monopod. Say what you want, I'd bet a kidney that this is someone's ultimate fantasy. The only discernible trait is one giant foot. Let's just say if this thing was around to post its cash app, I'd be proven right and you lose your faith in God. Smash. <laughs> Princess. Princesses are always described as beautiful. And not only that, you're marrying into a family that you think has literally been bestowed by God to control the entire goddamn world. Even if she wasn't hot, that's worth a smash. Cynocephaly, a human-like being with a dog head. I'm not a furry, so nine times out of 10 on this one, it's gonna be a pass. However, you're all just gonna call me a furry anyways, so if she's really bad, you know, doggy style, smash. Goblin, a weird sticky little green goober that has a ton of gold. You may not like it, but this is what peak male performance looks like. I'm about to go goblin mode on tiny green Bezos, smash. King slash queen. Usually this is the point at which I'd say I'd only smash the queen, cause I only like girls. Thing is, I like girls, but I also like having money and power. It would be less of a smash and more of a smash marry than murder. Hmm. Usually fuck marry kill is a choice between three people and not relationship advice. The Baba Yaga, described as a deformed lady that flies around in a mortar, wields a pestle, and dwells deep in the forest in a hut, usually described as standing on chicken legs. I know that deformed lady might not be high up on your list, but keep in mind the other things that I have to stick it in to satisfy your weird lusts. I'm lucky that the word lady is in there at all. Plus she's a homeowner. Smash. Dragon. I've said it a few times, but every time I queue up a video of dragons, I know some basement dweller has already married it. I will not be destroying any beautiful half reptile, half discord moderator baby's family life today. Pass. Knight. Are they keeping the armor on? Because the sharp edges of the metal suit would make any form of intimacy both difficult to achieve and excruciatingly painful. No way I'm letting this dingus get in the position to inquisition my pingus. Pass. Wizard. I've never met a real life wizard, but from smelling the people who talk about them, I bet they'd use Uber Eats more than they use deodorant. Pass. Fool. A good sense of humor can definitely get you into somebody's pants. I'm not debating that, but <laughs> stop laughing at it. Pass. Blemmies. I absolutely love how fucked up this thing looks. Looks like the type of motherfucker to wander out of the forest like, kill me. Smash. You're going to have to live to suffer another day. No. Medieval salamander. So what the medieval people thought a salamander was, was almost identical to the regular one. A except that it was covered in fur, and it poisons fruit, and it it's homicidal, and it breathes fire. Okay, I'll cop to it. They were stupid all the way through. Pass. Vegetable lamb. A sheep that grows out of the ground via a pumpkin-like root vine. I wonder if it grazes like normal, or uses photosynthesis. And if it didn't need to poo, would it still have a butthole? Smash. Only one way to find out. Sea monk. A vaguely human-like creature that also resembles a squid of sorts. Now initially, you might think that a cute sea monk woman would be a win with all those slippery tentacles, but you're missing two key aspects. One, all sea monks are dudes, and two, monks take a vow of celibacy, so it's an automatic pass. Grillis, described as a fat, squat creature consisting of a human head that sits on weird little pig haunches. Okay, come on, someone was just f***ing with people. If I were in a town where I could literally walk into the woods, walk out, and lie, and say that I saw literally anything, and people would just believe me, I would do that all the time. That would be the only thing I ever did. Also, you can just pick this thing up and go fleshlight mode, so smash. Um, that was, uh, that was really bad. What do you think? Whoa, very nice. It's very cool, Bateman, but that's nothing. What do you think? Nice. But wait, you ain't seen nothing yet. White. Impressive. Very nice. Mm. Let's see Paul Allen's. Oh my God. <laughs> Thank you. 
Sasquatch. Don't get me wrong, I don't really mind a little bit of hair. This isn't a little bit of hair though. It's an entire forest of sh caked bug infested fur. Pass. I'm not a furry, nor even sure if I could find the hole. The Jersey Devil. I'm not one to make fun of someone for having a weird body, but look at this gangly mother Its proportions don't even make sense. There are some cryptids that I think could exist, and this idiot is not one of them. Pass. How can I f something I don't even believe in? Loch Ness Monster. So this thing is basically just a trapped plesiosaur. I'm telling you, man, with a throat like that, Nessie could give one hell of a pecker inspector using only her necker. Smash. Chupacabra. Fun fact, the English to Spanish translation for chupacabra means goat sucker. Some might think its name comes from how it sucks the blood out of goats and stuff, but it's actually because I'm the f goat and you can fill in the rest. Smash. Mothman. I wonder what moth genitalia looks like. Oh! No, 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 f it ass, f claws. <laughs> Pass. Mongolian death worm. Now the Mongolian death worm has acidic spit, but if you were to drain all that out and only have the electric shock part, it's like a taser and a fleshlight all at the same time. Smash. Yeti. The Yeti would have the same too much hair problem as Bigfoot for me. Not only that, I'd have to be up in the mountains so my fingers would be so small and that'd be embarrassing. I pass. I have a huge piece and will murder anyone that claims otherwise. Sea ape slash mermaids. For the sea ape, it's a definite pass, because it's literally just a dead monkey sewn to a dead fish. For the mermaid, it depends. Is it top half lady and bottom half fish? And if so, what kind of hardware do we have downstairs? Or is it human legs and fish body? Or maybe it's the mermaids that destroyed Animal Planet's reputation. Smash, I don't have time for this, I just want to get my d licked. Flatwoods monster. Some sort of reptilian alien in a big metal suit? I'm just saying, under that titanium dress is definitely a dummy thick ass. They don't build it that wide for no reason, and I see no reason better than a huge butt. Smash. Dover Demon. Okay, so this thing is basically just a stereotypical gray alien. This thing isn't really displayed with a mouth, and all of the literature I can find of the Dover Demon suspiciously doesn't have any information as to whether or not it has an anus. Pass. Too much guesswork. Skunk Ape. The human actually went on an expedition to a scam shack in the swamp to try to find this thing. I don't I don't think he specified if he was there to f it though. He didn't specify that he wasn't there to f it though. Pass. The alligator nuggets were good, but I'm not going back to the swamps. Loveland Frog. A large pseudo humanoid frog from Loveland, Ohio. This thing is definitely slippery and slimy. I'ma get in there and fertilize me some weird squishy eggs. Smash. <laughs> Is it? What is, what is, what's even this sh anymore? Sea serpents. Long, slippery, and basically a living fleshlight. The only thing that makes me question is the salt water. You ever get that in a cut? Imagine that in your d hole. Smash. I've stuck my d worse. Skinwalker. Now, since this creature can only really shapeshift into animals, that's a definite pass from me. You could ask her to stay a human, but if they're corrupt enough to become a skinwalker, then they definitely have some sort of weird thing for being eaten out as a raccoon, and I'm not about it. Pass. The Wendigo, described as completely emaciated and corrupt beyond belief, shown by their endless hunger for human flesh. I'm not gonna say, like, that's my type, but I'm not gonna say, like, that it's far off from my type. Smash. Looking good. Almost done. And there. Done. <gasps> what have you done? I painted the truth. I painted my truth. I had to Google sexualized Sasquatch art and rule 34 cryptids because of you fuckers. Sometimes I like to work in a coffee shop in between my classes. Sometimes the people in the coffee shop like to enjoy their coffee without someone putting a dump truck thick moth woman on full screen right in front of them. Needless to say, only one of us got what they wanted that day. Mummy. With all those bandages, this one definitely has some tie-up potential. I'm gonna dig through this whole gosh darn pile of embalms, toilet paper, wrapped human corpses until I find Cleopatra's historically infamous act that destroyed nations. Smash. Hey, stop! I, uh, why? I just don't get it. I always catch you f watching this sick shit. <laughs>
Frankenstein. Frankenstein is a pass for me, but I do the Bride of Frankenstein. You can murder people to mix and match their parts like Mr. Potato Head. The only limit is your imagination and possibly necrophilia. Werewolf. I don't know how many times I need to tell you guys that I'm not a furry. Pass. While I do intend to one day create a human-animal hybrid, I want to do it with science and not my dick. Zombies. Look at her. She's already fallen apart just standing there. If I try to do literally anything, pieces of her will just start sloughing off onto the floor. Pass. Dracula. Now I know Dracula can give the good suck. No one's questioning that. But this monster definitely uses its teeth. Pass. Dude, you're like one of the oldest monsters and still haven't learned this yet. And you still don't know why they don't call you back? It's because they're dead. Because you sucked all the blood out of their pain. Headless Horseman. No head, but he definitely has a neck hole. I've never gotten a neck job. I'd imagine it's like sticking it in the hole that that lady whose name is Shelly and used to be a smoker. Smash. Demon. For me, it depends what kind of demon. Am I getting a soul job from a succubus, or am I getting crushed under Beelzebub's morbidly obese ass? Pass, I can never get that image out of my head. That's too much of a gamble. The creature from the Black Lagoon. This thing is the slipperiest and slimiest one in the whole list. That's nature's lubrication. Smash. That person your parents warned you about putting razor blade laced poison in your candy. Smash, I'm a sucker for a dark sense of humor. Gray alien. I'm into a lot of weird stuff, but not getting probed. And also, because it's for science, it'd be so strangely professional and methodical that I'd feel like I'm screwing Sheldon from the Big Bang Theory. Smash! Bazinga. Pumpkin with a hole drilled in it. What happened to this pumpkin? Well, you said you weren't sure if we were gonna use it. And so I did. Spooky scary skeletons. Skeletons have no ass, and every point of entry would be dry and with a lot of friction. Pass. Honestly, there's not much difference between screwing this and dragging your genitals on the concrete like a dog's ass on the carpet. The Abominable Snowman. This entire thing is made from snow and ice. There's no way my little eyeball would be standing at full attention in that weather. Not only that, but if there's one thing I learned from my traumatizing experience with Trojan Fire and Ice Condoms, it is to never buy them again. Again, pass. F you Trojan, why did you make that? It feels like f sock filled with icy hot. The Grim Reaper. Skeletons, again, don't sound like a pleasurable experience. Also, since you die if this thing touches you, a handy would be the ultimate boner killer. Pass. Unless it's the Jamaican one from Billy and Mandy, then I gotta think a bit more. Scarecrow. Okay, so as is, I'm really not trying to stick my needle in that haystack. There's definitely some creepy crawlies that I don't want in my piss hole. If you were to cut it open, however, and fill it with microwave spaghetti, that's a different story. Smash. Side note, have you ever thought if somebody put like one end of the pasta in their pee hole and the other in their mouth and then they did like a lady in the, the tramp thing? No? Okay, then me neither then. Big Charlie. It's so tender that pieces of it literally fall off and become other creatures. Do you know how soft the inside of this creature probably is? Smash. I wonder if I gotta pay its pimp big meat processing. If it don't fall off the bone, it's free. Siren Head. This thing looks like a literal corpse with a bullhorn taped to its headless neck, but besides that, there really isn't anything to grab onto. Although, with the amount of clout this thing has attained, it's kinda like f a famous person. Even if they're not attractive, huge flex. Smash. Bridge Worm. Alright, real talk though. What do you think this false face could be used for? I'm not sure either, but god damn it, I'm sure it's something. Smash. Fetid King. The difference between a skeleton of something and the actual thing that it's from is that the thing usually only has like two or three holes, and a skeleton is mostly holes. But all those holes are kind of like sharp and dry, and in this case, filled with maggots, so pass. Cartoon cat slash cartoon dog. Okay, so this thing can transform into literally any shape you want. Goodbye cartoon cat dog, hello cartoon Instagram model. Smash. Country road creature. Now, if this thing can also shapeshift like the theories, same rules as Cartoon Cat, smash. But I'm not really sure, cause like, look at that face. So if that can't shapeshift, I can't deal with it. But if it can't, you know, we're just gonna move on. Long horse. What choice is this even giving me? Sure, I could cram my dick into its eye sockets or rub it along the top of its weird mouth, but both of those just sound awful. I tried to find a hole in the back, but this shit just keeps going and going and going and going. Ass. Lil Nugget. 
Now, I know this thing is basically a fleshlight as a creature. I mean, it's small and made out of flesh, come on. However, there is one aspect you may not be thinking of. Look, all I'm saying is I know what happened the last time I fucked a large pile of raw hamburger meat and I really don't want it to ever happen again. Pass. Void Nugget. Now, Trevor won't even discuss how horrifying this creature truly is. Now, for humans, the truest fear is the fear of the unknown. For me, the unknown gets me hard. Smash. Lamb. All right, so you know how this thing can use its psychic abilities to f with people's brains and manipulate their circulatory system so blood oozes out of their eyes and skin? Well, if it was your boo, it could probably just psychically put you in the most turned on state you've ever been in while it floods almost all of your blood into your genitals. Could you imagine what psychic coming feels like? Smash. Behemoth. This is another one of those times where it doesn't even seem like it w would work logistically. Let's say I do get to the hole of this thousand meter tall lizard. What the f then? But half amoebian, half behemoth offspring. Artificial and smashination. Forgotten baby. I do not want this thing crawling up inside of my ass. Although, doesn't have teeth. Pass. Milk walker abomination. I don't want to put any part of my body near a rancid milk carton with some rando's blood in it. Much less my car. Pass. Basement thing. No, I'm not gonna say I've never f a being that's incredibly pale from never seeing the sun, flabby but skinny fat with long gangly arms, and has seemingly evil intentions, but I am gonna say that it will be the last. Pass. Bonesworth. See how there's like a skull inside of a skull for its face? Well, I'm about to crack the outer layer right the f off with my pelvic bone. Smash. Angel. So you know how in nature, a cactus develops spikes? It's basically saying, don't eat me. The angel has also developed develop spikes around its entire body. I think it's trying to say, don't f me. Pass. Sea eater. Is this thing gonna try and eat my sea? I don't even know what that means. Unless it's like the letter C, and then does it mean cock? Also, there's the one detail where this thing's picture is blurrier than the genitalia in some of those Japanese porn videos. Why do they do that, by the way? It's not like people who are looking for it don't know what's happening. Pass. Picking a different video. World eater. I will eat your world. Honey. My dad can hear you. Seeing as though this one would destroy every planet it comes across, you know when someone is just like way more work than it's worth it? That's what the world leader is. It doesn't matter how hot she is, she'll destroy everything she comes in contact with. Pass. Trevor Henderson. Pass. Not into dudes. Would you stop asking these f questions? The nurses from the Silent Hill series. Okay, so the face is absolutely horrifying, but the rest of it is on par for some of the hottest people I've ever been with in my life. Smash. My disappointment is immeasurable and my day is ruined. Lady, Lady D from Resident Evil. Call me the entire internet when this game came out because I'm absolutely simping over this van pussy. Smash. Those weird potato guys from Amnesia. Oh, I guess they're called the Gatherers. Well, since their mouths are sliced open beyond belief, there's no way this thing can offer any suction. The rest of the body is also a nightmare patchwork of what looks like dead bodies. There's no way any of those holes are tight. Pass. The animatronics from Five Nights at Freddy's. Yeah, I'm lumping them all together, F you. I'm not a furry and I certainly don't want no dead kid animatronic robussy. Pass. I'm not sticking my dick anywhere near a Chuck E. Cheese knockoff filled with rotten pepperoni and kid organs. Pyramid Head from Silent Hill. There's no mouth to speak of, only the stabby points of the pyramid. If my only option is getting poked in the dong by one of five spikes, it's a pass. Alice from Bendy and the Ink Machine. Smash. It's basically Betty Boop ex a demon angel. This is one of the rare times I say smash enthusiastically. It's almost like horror game creators don't make their monsters with ability in mind. The Fungus Family from Resident Evil 7. Not only would screwing an entire family be really weird, I'm also pretty sure that yeast is a fungus, and I'm not trying to get a yeast infection, because I heard someone say the only way she can describe it is cactus in pee hole. Pass. The weird abominations from Scorn. Now this game hasn't really been released at the time of the video. I'm just really hyped for it, so I'm gonna agree to f something without knowing anything about it. Necromorphs from Dead Space. These things are basically alien parasite zombies, if I'm to understand correctly. Nothing about dead decaying humans filled with some sort of reanimation disease sounds appealing. Pass. The next bots that are chasing everybody around in Gmod. This one is kind of like a flat PNG animated at a fast speed. Pass. Calm down, son, it's just a drawing. 
Val from Outlast 2. No empathy and always completely naked and covered in mud. I mean, she's in great shape though. Smash, it's would I fuck them, not do I consider them a good person. Chris Walker from Outlast. Look, this guy basically boils down to a murderous, morbidly obese ex-offensive lineman. That combination doesn't seem like it'd be too fun for me. I don't think I could do it with <clears throat> staring back at me either. Pass. The special zombies from Left 4 Dead 2. It depends on which one of them. I'm gonna be real honest though, the only one that gets a smash is the witch. Petite, pretty, unpredictable, and either constantly sobbing or in a state of other mania. Close behind is the spitter, but because spitters are quitters, I'm gonna pass. Dr. Richard Traeger from Outlast. The entire surface of this man's skin looks like shrink wrap fried chicken. Judging from how mangled the face and skin is, nothing in the downstairs looked like it'd be especially appealing. Pass. SCP-1471, Mallow. The top Google question asked is, is Mallow a furry? I'm not a furry, so no, I'm not gonna have sex with this skeletal humanoid raccoon app, pass. <laughs> SCP-173. Despite Peanut's obvious thickness, this thing is made of concrete and rebar. Not the best materials for a real doll. You ever skin your knee on the pavement? Imagine that, but completely encompassing your genitals. Pass. SCP-096. You can't even look at this thing's face or it freaks out and does everything in its power to murder you. I don't need somebody to be the most confident person on the planet, but how the hell are you supposed to hold a conversation when the only thing it wants to talk about is <laughs> Pass. SCP-1903. This weird mask lady is the internet horror equivalent of a Playboy bunny. It even comes with added mercury poisoning. Smash. SCP-001, when day breaks. Are you asking me if I want to f*** the sun? Or the giant blob amalgamation that wants to assimilate all life into its mass? It doesn't matter, because both of these things involve becoming a part of something grander than yourself, and that's pretty corny. Pass. SCP-049. Okay, so this one is completely covered in a latex-like material, so that's a plus. Although, no one knows what goes on with that body under that cloak, and I don't really have a thing for being Frankenstein and lobotomy. Pass. SCP-682. The hard-to-destroy reptile? I'm sorry, this thing has obviously never seen my penis. Won't be hard to destroy when I'm done with it. Smash for the good of all life. SCP-035. Now this thing's holes are constantly weeping some sort of slippery black fluid. And whether it's a smile or a frown, this evil mask always has an open mouth. Smash. This thing thinks it's so evil, I'm about to skull f that grin right off its face. SCP-303. That mouth, though. Although, when the door is open, this thing just kind of disappears, if I remember correctly, so we'd always just be gazing longingly through the windows. Long-distance relationships typically have not gone well for me. Pass. It seems like a nice entity and we'd both just get hurt. SCP-5909. A giant crustacean that is light years away from Earth, and also 2.1 light years in size. Don't get me wrong, no shade to those bearing the thickness, but there's no way that this one just doesn't end up like a hot dog in a multiple light year wide highway. SCP-3008, the infinite Ikea. Now last time I did something like this in an Ikea, I was forcibly removed from the kitchen section after making the meatballs a little extra Swedish, if you know what I mean. But since this one is literally infinite, there's no way they can kick me out for health code violations. Smash. SCP-953, sociopathic fox girl. Okay, I know I just said I'm not a furry, but like, she's really hot, so smash, but I'm still not a furry. Don't call me one in the comments or I'll, I'll scream. SCP-2136, you do not f the bodies in the water. You do not f the bodies in the water. You do not f the bodies in the water. SCP-1550, Dr. Wondertainment's custom pets. Okay, so if we put this mighty morphin egg in a pair of demonias, I'm at least 86% sure we'll get like a hot god dom. Smash. SCP-054, water nymph. Remember when the internet got really creepy about Vaporia? On and about how sticking it in a thing of water would feel really good like a jacuzzi jet. It would be like that, except it's a water woman. So you wouldn't be a sick, demented f for wanting to stick it in something that looks like a goddamn raccoon. SCP-999. So this thing is just a blob that radiates pure love energy. I think it might be able to morph and change shape too. I mean, is there even any question to this one? I'm about to make it jiggle jiggle and fold. Smash. 
SCP-811, Swamp Woman. This entity is definitely covered in and filled with some sort of amphibian-like slime. That's nature's lubrication. Call me Shrek, cause I'm about to make this my swamp. Smash. No more! Where the f*** are your parents? Who are your parents? I'm gonna call Child Protective Services. SCP-3199, Humans Refuted. An amalgamation of genetic material mostly made of human and chicken DNA. Laying eggs to fill the entirety of your living space sounds pretty baby crazy to me. It's like someone who puts how many kids they want on Tinder. Creepy. Pass. SCP-426. I am a toaster. The eyeball man is so sexually attracted to toasters that I saw him take a bath with one. He would probably f*** me. Smash. He cried after. SCP-610. The flesh that hates. Getting a normal red itchy rash anywhere near my c*** would already cause me to have a panic attack. This would be just willingly giving yourself a lethal STD. Pass. SCP-939, with many voices. If I closed my eyes and just stuck it in and then just had them mimic a voice of someone who I'm really attracted to, I bet I could get it to work. But I would only do that if I'm really, really desperate. Pass, not currently that desperate. SCP-2006, too spooky. An entity hell-bent on scaring humanity that doesn't really know what they're afraid of. If this creature really wants to understand what's truly terrifying, it need look no further than in between my crotch. Smash. SCP-336, Lilith. I don't care if the thighs have a bunch of scales on them. She's bad as hell. I'll kidnap a bunch of human males and make them listen to her voice and get a crap ton of SCP-3361 instances all together in one big bed to have a huge horrific orgy. Smash. But I'm still not a furry. Don't call me one in the comments or I'll kill you. SCP-079, old AI. Even though the fact that it's so mean is great if you're into degradation, I feel like this would only work if I was in the metaverse. But then I would have to sign the form saying I'll admit all my deepest, darkest secrets and fetishes to Mark Zuckerberg. Pass. I don't want to end up as that man smoked meats. SCP-4999. That one guy who comes and smokes a ciggy with lonely people while they're dying. I know lots of people who like cigarettes after sex, and in France they call an orgasm le petite mort, which means the little death. I don't know where I'm going with any of this. I just had a fact. Pass. SCP-002, the living room. I'm not really one for humping the hole in between couch cushions, nor am I into vor. Pass. Although for some weird fucker, this is the perfect combination. There really is someone for everyone. SCP-131, the iPods. These cute little buggers remind me way too much of my small blue friend Amoeba. Pass. This ain't sweet home Alabama. SCP-354, the red pool. I'm not really sure how one would coitus any sort of pond, much less a blood red anomalous pond. I guess I could smash the various strange objects that emerge from it. Nah, that's like a supernatural glory hole. You never really know what you're getting. Pass. SCP-4960, a bronze age sex and fertility goddess of beauty. Apparently this entity will just get really sad if you don't worship her body. I have n no idea what to say. Usually I have to like scroll down at least slightly in Google images to find sexualized art depictions for the entity. Like usually I have to somewhat sexualize it for the sake of comedy, but this one is sincerely written for the sake of people to beat off to. Smash, I mean, she's described as really hot. SCP-871, the self-replacing cake. Somebody's gotta tell that cake farts lady that she has unlimited cake for her content creation. Now that I said that, a few of you sick fucks definitely just signed up to be the D-class that has to eat it. Pass. I'm not gonna peg the thing that you're about to eat. SCP-3456, the Orcadian Horseman. Basically a skinned horse with a human torso rising out of the center. The SCP Foundation actually stole this from Scottish folklore, so I feel like I would need the entirety of Scotland's consent, and I'm not gonna go to the effort to create a census to fuck a horse person I'm not even attracted to. Pass. SCP SCP-016, sentient microorganism. The consequences for having this inside of you are grave for a human, but I can't really get those diseases. Pass, I just keep wondering whether or not it was in yet. Ah! Ooh. Wow, the cringe is so strong, it's like a bump of coke. SCP-5031, another murder monster. If you've heard this entry, it's kind of a misnomer towards the end because the murder monster learns a love of cooking and actually turns out to be pretty cool. Straight up wholesome. I bet it would cook for its date and actually have enough brain cells to talk and both of those things are pretty rare nowadays, so smash. SCP-1609, the remains of a chair. I'm not gonna be sticking it inside a regular mulch pile, much less one that would attempt to annihilate me when I step within in a three foot radius, pass. SCP-055, the anti-meme. What is that? Never heard of it. 
SCP-055, the anti-meme. What is that? Never heard of it. SCP-055, the anti-meme. What is that? Never heard of it. SCP-1765, the sisters. Sometimes these entities are depicted as looking like a fan service anime girl by all the monster f out there. Also, they're sadistic as hell, so it would basically just be getting tortured by neckbeard fantasies. Smash. SCP-1048, the builder bear. I don't like stuffed animals like that. Not only that, it would turn me into ears and then disassemble me to make more teddy bears. Fun fact, once I met someone who was really into stuffed animals and only wanted to do anything on a pile of her stuffed animals, all of which she had names that she told me before. No shade, but that really took me out of it. Pass. SCP-3288, the aristocrats. Cannibalistic subterranean humans that have been inbred to the point of a pug. These genetics are already so distorted beyond belief and Putting amoebian DNA into that mix would be downright irresponsible. Smash, let's see what happens, like that time we gave all those squirrels peanuts dusted with cocaine and they attacked everybody. SCP-835-JP Someone in the comments recommended me this one, and honestly, I'm more scared of you than you are of me. The age can decrease or increase by 10 years. That's f***ing sus as hell. What do you take me for, mini lad? Pass. SCP-087, the infinite stairwell. I'm not really sure how I would do this to a stairwell. Well, there's finishing on the stairs, but then you leave yourself liable to someone slipping and falling, and you'll catch a negligence-based injury and an SA charge all in one go. Pass. I can't go back to jail. SCP-847, the mannequin. Plastination is permanent and lethal for every human subject that comes in contact with this anomaly. Plastination is just like bruising for me. Goes away within three days. Just keep it off my neck and arms because people will see me and judge me. Smash. SCP-5699, take care of yourself. Now this is gonna piss some people off, but just let me explain. Pass. This entity is coming over to comfort you. Don't just make them uncomfortable by trying to turn it into something else. SCP-500, the pill that can cure any disease. If I put it in my urethra, I wonder if it'll cure everything that's wrong with it, which is nothing, but don't check. Smash. SCP-031, the organism living in the ductworks of the Pyongyang Hotel. This tenderly flesh blob can emulate any living being. That's a big plus. However, I already have sneaky links with a lot of reality benders, and bio shifters that don't require me to go to North F Korea. Pass. Now I'm gonna ask Professor Lucius, who is definitely not tied up in the very same cell that the Foundation tried to put me in. Lucy buddy, I'm gonna show you a series of monsters, and you gotta pick one to do the segs with. SCP-106? You want me to what? Either f it or, or don't, man. You sick, twisted. Hang on. What's the first choice? The old man? Is it you? No, it's not me, and I take offense to this line of questioning. What would make you even think I would have any interest in a decaying, rotting, corrosive pile of meat? Hmm, never mind. I see your point. I'll take that as a smash. It'll be in your room tonight. Next! SCP-082. Ah, wee oui, wee. Oui. Paris, the city of love. And cannibals? I must say, I'm starting to see a trend with your options. And to be frank, I'm a little insulted. Look man, if you want to get some around the foundation, you gotta lower your standards. A hole is a hole. What would even make you think that cannibalism is something I would indulge in? Is it the eyes? The teeth? Some delusional, overweight and confused Frenchman is hardly my idea of a fun Friday night. Not a roleplay guy? Fair enough. Next! SCP-4666, the Yule Man. Despite what they'd have you believe, the Yule Man is very pleasant. Are we referring to the same guy? It's the child murderer, not the cookie-eating fat guy from the Coke ads. Did you know he doesn't like clothes? I guess we are. Either that or you had a drunk uncle ruin Christmas for you. You can imagine what all that frolicking around the snow does for him. Not exactly a wise choice, if you get my meaning. Nonetheless, he's always available, except for a few days around Christmas, when he gets his jollies elsewhere. Okay, that's a two-thirds smash. You'd think I wouldn't have to force you at gunpoint. Or maybe that's just the cognito hazards. People say don't kink shame. I say kink shame everyone equally. You are all disgusting perverts that should be very ashamed, except for me because I'm just the one profiting off of it, not the one whacking off to it. Bone thieves. Pass. Couldn't get it up.
skin stealer. It depends on whose skin they got on, because if they're wearing Saweetie or a Belle Delphine, maybe, but have you ever seen bad taxidermy where the skin doesn't quite fit over the mold and it's like very noticeable? I'm really worried that it'll end up looking like the human equivalent of this. Would you f the human equivalent of this thing? Pass. Smiler, rather stick my dick in a wood chipper and with that grin, it doesn't look too far off. Pass. Party goers, being vaguely humanoid is a plus, but those claws and the fact that they'd be singing nursery rhymes? Pass. I really don't think I could get it up if she was just shrieking, RING AROUND THE ROSY! Party hosts. This is just a weird fat baby. Pass. Who do you take before, mini lad? Memory worms. Okay, so if I could bring this thing to a specialist dentist and rip out all of its teeth, that's like a nostalgia fleshlight for sexual experiences past. I'd smash that thing so hard I'd develop an unhealthy relationship with it and not be able to fully enjoy the present. Clumps? See, I'd say it could give a good handy, or footy, I guess, but you'd also just get absorbed, so it'd just be incredibly distressing <laughs> masturbation. Pass. I can do that on my own. Jerry. I guess it depends whether or not you're holding Jerry, because if you're holding him, he'll probably just make you say yes because he's controlling your Brian. Since I'm not currently holding Jerry, no, I will not f*** the parrot. Pass. Neural isopods. Pass. I'm not about to have my kidney filled with insect eggs. No kink shaming, it's just not for me. Carpet moss. I mean, I'm kind of a masochist, but not so much that I want to painfully dissolve. Pass. Not water. Wait, so if you drink the not water, you're connected to everyone else who did it psychically. But if you jerk off in the not water, do you get STDs from everybody who's the water has had sex with? Too risky, pass. Wretch. Remember when Alex Jones repped those workout supplements and he was singing their praises, but the before and after picture, he's just like slightly more red? That's what the wretch looks like to me. Smash. Dentists. So despite the fact that touching this thing would turn you into a red walking blob, it doesn't really matter because wherever you fuck this thing, it's a blowy. Certain death, blowy. Certain death, good job. Actually, wait, no, those are both wins. Smash. Combine. Look at all them little fingers. Mm, smash. Stalker. Someone who learns someone's deepest hopes, dreams, and fears, insecurities, and then uses them as an emotional wrecking ball to betray them. That's like all my exes, so I've kind of already done it. Smash. Staircase mollusks. What that muscular foot do, huh? Smash. Landlord. Pass. I don't want to die like Tom Holland's Spider-Man. Fallen Angels. Smash faster than Matt Pat finger banged Golden Freddy. No question, it's basically just a human, except it can give wing jobs. Mangled? Pass. You know what they say, you don't got an epidermis, you don't get my firmus and spermus. Oh, cringe. Now, dating in the backrooms is kind of like it is when you have life in prison. You're going to be here forever. If you want to get some, you gotta make do with what there is. Just like a person sentenced to life, a backrooms wanderer learns one lesson very quickly. A hole is a hole. Woodlands. Pass because dick splinters. I don't want to be mourning my wood. Here's the gun. What? Here's the doctor's note. Just f***ing do it. It's what time! <laughs>death moths. Some would say it depends on the type of moth, but honestly getting attacked by a huge moth or crushing a tiny one with my dick, neither of those sound like very good times. Pass. Game master. Let's get this one out of the way. Smash. This is the only one where that smash is even close to sincere. Some of the edits draw this entity like an IG model because none of you have any self-control, not even around a drawing. Bursters. If you tried to enter this thing, it would immediately dissolve you with its disgusting acid back pimples. Pass. Surgeons. I'm not really about getting genital surgery during sex. No kink shaming, but it's just not for me. Pass. Crawlers. You're asking me if I'd have sex with a disease. Not getting an STD, literally f***ing the disease. Pass. Numbed man. First off, pass right off the bat, but this one's kind of weird. See, you gotta be careful about this because uh, he knows as much about you as you do about him. So. If you think you'd fuck, but then the numbed man thinks that they wouldn't, that's pretty embarrassing. Although, if you think that you wouldn't, and the numbed man thinks they would, then you got them on the ropes. Wait, holy sh**, this is kind of like regular scheming pounds. I don't want to fuck an old man, and I don't want to fuck a dog. Putting them together makes it so much worse. Pass. Impronounceable spider name. I don't know if I'm about to stir up controversy with this statement, but I don't find spiders sexually attractive. Pass. Six arms. An entity attracted to anxiety. I already have enough body dysmorphic thoughts rattling around in my dumbass meatball head. No way I'm letting this f see my naked body. Putrid. 
pass instantly. Not out of any body shaming stuff, but because it's filled with cockroaches. Actually, I, I guess if I'm shaming them because their body is filled with cockroaches, that technically is body shaming. Pass because body shaming. This meat is gummy. You know, I'm not really even sure how one would have intercourse with a gummy worm. I mean, you can put it inside of you, but you know how when you eat candy and your hands get all sticky? Imagine that feeling, but inside of you. Smack. Reverse defecation birds. Okay, since this bird unshits itself and birds only have one hole, yeah, only one hole if you didn't know. I don't want to be anywhere near that thing when it unshits itself. It'll come through your body and rip your dick off with great force. Pass. Stranglers. Smash based on the name alone. Entity 666. This guy looks like a mime on bath salts. I know my type and it's not that. Pass. Wall worms. So these things are native to the walls. You could just make a glory hole and pretend it isn't a worm. Then again, ask secretions from its skin on my pass. pass. Scorpses. All right, since these creatures have human heads on the end of their tails, it depends who I'm getting dome from. If it's Steve Buscemi, the answer is going to be different than if it's Emma Watson. Cannibal Cuisines. Last time I did something like this to a vending machine, I got banned from a Six Flags. Smash. Totally worth it. Oxids. Hey, do you want to stick your dick in that crab that has saliva that literally dissolves rusty metal? Pass, idiot. Glock Dookie. Did you just ask me if I would fuck a toothpaste tube filled with vomit, cum, piss, and shit? Smack. Reviux. Okay, so no one really knows what they look like. So they have guesses and show this picture of the cracked up ground. For me, it's like one of those Tinder profiles with no pictures of the person. It's not just me being shallow. How do I know you're not a 53 year old man with a trucker mustache, a tattoo of Ed Gein on your ass and zip ties in the trunk of your van, and you're not just luring me under the alias of Cassie from Arizona State? Pass. Splats. A giant blob of flesh? If I'm gone to the point that I can't see, that actually sounds quite nice. Smash. Wallpaper wraiths. Smash, but only if it gives me a live slug reaction. Leon. While some might claim that Leon gives good suck, and technically they are not wrong, I don't want anyone to suck all of the blood out of my hard cock using three massive teeth. That sounds f***ing terrifying. And you know that Leon would try to charge afterwards by sucking even more blood out of your shoulder after. Pass. Cerebro spinal leech. No for a similar reason to Leon. Also, since this creature controls your thoughts, there's not really a way to consent, so if this leech tries anything, it's going straight the f*** to jail. Snatcher weeds. Since contact with their poison is incredibly painful, masochism for the win. I'd f*** the plant. Smash. Skin givers. Pass. I got my foreskin cut off for a reason. I do not want it back. Stop asking why I love crafty and entity has foreskin. I have many. I have a collection. Uh, what am I doing right now? You're a beater bird. I'ma stick my dick in that weird glowy juice black bubble and make it clap. Sl smash. Fine. See, I came back and fucked the fucking monsters because that's what you all wanted, you sick, twisted bastards that I love so very much. You're the real monsters here, Jeff the Killer. I don't bend that way, but even if I did, lips really do matter in terms of sloppy toppy. Realistically, how the fuck does this killer even keep saliva in their mouth? Pass. Why did you leave me? Jane the killer, however, holy shit, smash, 100%. If I could find this person, minus the would stab me in my face in my sleep part of it, I would propose marriage. Honestly, as long as the stabbing isn't directly at me, we could still get past it. Subjects from the Russian sleep experiment. So they have no lips. So like Jeff the killer, that's a big L. Plus all of their fingertips are bone and they're all covered in their own feces from smearing book pages on the windows. A skeletal scat job sounds like something that would traumatize the Zodiac killer. Pass. Ben drowned. I might be an unknowable Lovecraftian horror, but why in God's name would you ask if I would smash a fucking drowned kid? You're fucking disturbed. Pass. Please get therapy. Sonic.exe. I don't know what it is with the internet and weird Sonic fan fictions and the OCs and all the horrible things that they do to each other's bits. Look, we all know what happened with Chris Chan. Playing Sonic games is a slippery slope. This isn't just a creepypasta anymore. I think these games might actually be cursed. Pass. Smile dog. I don't know why so many of these horror stories involve animals. Didn't they know that more than a decade later, a random eyeball monstrosity would come by and play would I stick my dick in it? For the millionth time, I'm not sticking it in an animal. I might be an unknowable abomination, but I have my limits. I'm not fucking Markiplier. Pass. Isla's Jack. Now, seeing as how those eyes are seemingly just empty sockets filled with slippery black goo, I know exactly where to stick it. Smash. The Rake. 
The teeth and the claws, I feel like having this near your genitals in any way is basically synonymous with getting oral from a paper shredder. Pass. Slenderman. I don't care if I get canceled, I'm gonna say it. Slenderman has no ass. I would say pass, but honestly, I'd have to swallow my pride if Slenderman also wanted to swallow it because I need clout. Smash. Squidward Suicide. I think the human grew up watching this cartoon. On one hand, the chance to literally bone a corrupted version of the human's childhood. On the other hand, f***ing a dead squid. Wait, those are both wins. Smash. Hero Brine. I honestly can't imagine what a pixelated orifice feels like, but in my mind it would feel unbearably sharp. Like a sock filled with shattered glass, or an inside out sea urchin, or one of those banana slicers. Catastrophe Crow. So I'm not sure which thing exactly I'm expected to smash. Is it the designer of the game? Or the game itself? That weird crow inside of it? Pass because this was too confusing of an option, and two out of the three options are either dick electrocution or fucking a crow to death. Candle Cove. I assume the sex would be with the weird marionettes. If I wanted to fuck a husk that has a pair of human skin wrapped around it, I'd order a custom Ed Guyne made sex doll or try to go to a pre-organized corporate speed dating event. Pass. Mr. Bear from 1999. I wouldn't smash this horrifying fucker in the sense of a smasher pass, but I would like to smash his face into a waffle iron. I don't like this guy. I'm gonna add a third option, that of murder. The option to put these fuckers through a wood chipper. No end house. A lot of people would ask how it's possible to coitus a cursed house. The answer is similar to how you would fuck anything else, find a hole. Although when it comes to a house, especially an old cursed one, the risk of death splinters is quite high. I gotta stop seeing out. No pain, no gain. Smash because death splinters. The expressionless. The expressionless is just a living mannequin with super sharp teeth. While dome isn't an option, this is way better than f***ing a non-living mannequin by creating an asshole with a drill. Smash. The person with no senses from the gateway of the mind. See, the thing is, if you have no taste, smell, hearing, sight, or touch, how the actual f*** are you supposed to communicate consent? If there's one thing you learn from college orientation, or just, you know, not being a horrible person, it's that if someone has no access to any of their senses, by no means should you try to stick anything inside of them. Pass. Primary Color Man. This thing can alter my visual senses and its own body so it can look like whatever I want it to. Smash, I want you to switch through this list of celebrities in 35 seconds each. No! <laughs> Train Eater. This one is a dirty h all it does is drag its bare ass on the New York subway every day and let every human being taking public transportation in NYC inside of it. Pass. This is how you catch a disease. Caught in the rain. This monster has like four separate jaws to stick it inside. However, the teeth are super sharp and I think it freaks out whenever it gets wet. Pass. We wouldn't be a good match considering that I'm often a moist man. The neighbor. This thing has three hands and a face inside of his weird little gullet. This thing could give one hell of a pixie stick jiffy lick even if I had whiskey dick. Smash. Hazardous. This pile of goo is literally glowing and definitely has some sort of infection shit going on with it. Not only that, but they're just like so toxic that I literally can't even pass. Double mammoth. Kind of looks like a half mammoth, half man, all skeleton. Last time I did something like this to a mammoth, the Smithsonian had to halt their cloning project due to contaminated DNA samples. Also, where is even the ass to speak of? Pass. Bones are sharp and I'm in debt from a museum lawsuit. The black crown. My god, that hourglass shape though? I'm also a sucker for a beautiful smile. Smash. The dentist. Honestly, this man is just a box head with a buzzsaw for a hand. Amazing world of gumball looking at ass. Pass. This is like a human, but minus a lot of the fun parts. Megahorn. So this one's like Siren Head's much larger cousin that also eats his cousins. Sounds like Appalachia rules to me. You know when you meet somebody off a Tinder date and they go into their entire family's toxic history? That seems like it would be Megahorn's preferred conversation. 
pass. Fairy gates. So this thing would automatically transport whatever goes inside of it to another fairy gate. So basically, screwing this thing is sticking your dongle inside of a dimensional guillotine. Pass. I need it for something else. Demonic bunny. This thing apparently smells like a rotting corpse. I'm not saying I'm not into that. I'm just saying they have to be insanely hot for me to be into it. Pass. This thing looks like a skeleton that had sex with an Easter bunny costume, and that's nowhere near hot enough. The Watchers. Half house, half floaty squid. This one kind of looks like an amoebian found a way to fuck the house. Honestly, I bet there's some sort of hole under all those tendrils. Only one way to find out. Smash. Chimney head. I wonder if I'll get high if I suck the fumes out of its head. Sex and drugs? Those are like my two favorite things. Smash out of curiosity. Radio knot. This one kind of looks like Siren Head's old analog style cousin. Look, TV is already going out of style and I know what network news did to the humans, so I can imagine what f***ed up beliefs Radio Knot has got rattling around in its head. Pass. The last customer. I will say this thing looks very stretchy and flexible beyond belief, but the uncanny valley can be kind of a turnoff. Also, dude, staying past hours at a store, one thing that really tells you about someone is how they treat people working in retail or service industries, and this guy's pretty rude, so pass. Living saucers. Okay, that tractor beam could definitely deliver crazy suction. And then it's got all those little foobles and grabbers on it. This thing could give one hell of an insert wacky nonsensical penis name to fit overused format of BJ joke. Smash. The high priest of the old great ones. Not only is this old one famous beyond all comprehension, it's got a face covered in tentacles. I'm just saying, this thing could give one hell of a scintillating suction slong shuckle. Smash. If it's not a Necronomicon, what is it? It's a survival guide. Survival guide? For, For what? Me. What? I can make it worth your while. What the fuck? The Dunwich Horror. While every single one of its tentacles does have a mouth attached, all of them are filled with haphazard sharp teeth sticking out at every angle. Also, this thing smells like dead rotting animals and would probably rip a cow in half and drink its fluids in front of me. While that display of power would be incredibly attractive, everything else is horribly wrong. Pass. Yog sothoth an all-knowing god locked on the outside of the cosmos. Look, if these creatures all-knowing, it definitely knows of all the people with a bigger dingle than me, and that's what I'd be thinking about the entire time. Past, children of the Sphinx. So basically, it's just like a regular human, except with various random animal parts. This is just like that time I found a dead supermodel, several squirrels, and a nail gun. Smash, but I'm not a furry guy. Seriously, shut the hell up or I'll do to you what I did to those squirrels. Azathoth, basically a living black hole that is seen differently by all who experience it. The Blind Idiot God. With a name like that, it's definitely into degradation. Smash, it's like all the fun of being mean, but you're not actually hurting anybody's feelings. Shoggoth, massive amoeba-like creatures made out of iridescent black slime with multiple eyes floating on its surface. Honestly, that's not even too far off from screwing a member of my own species. Smash, H.P. Lovecraft's cat. First off, pass right off the bat, I'm not gonna smash a cat. There's no way in hell. But not only is it a cat, it's a fucking racist cat. The flying polyps. These things are the most phallic creature in the entire Lovecraft universe. You Yagolanak the Defiler. This is literally the most perverse entity in all of existence. Its whole deal is perversion and defiling, and that's right up my alley. Although, this is just a morbidly obese headless man when you get down to it, so I'm not gonna go right up his alley. Pass. The Great Race of Yith. This thing has a literal toolbox for depraved usage. Face tentacles and that long fooble with all those weird holes. So many places to smash, I don't know where to start. Lil Cthu, the birth womb of the great old ones. So basically this giant monster vag is what they all fall out of. Physical characteristics aside, anytime one of these fear cops does something so destructive to humanity that they think is so cool, the dark ancient god Cthulhu has called for a press conference. I can just be like, I f your mom. Smash. Migo. No, not the musical group Migos, the pinkish fungoid crustacean-like entities that inhabit the planet Yugoth. I love mushrooms, and I love shrimps. Can I add the third option of eat it? In the creature is twist like stir fry. The conscious nothingness between the stars. Having sex with nothing? No cap, if you're watching this video sincerely and not for comedic effect, that's what you do every day. Pass, don't worry, I'm not gonna try to slide on your very real girlfriend that definitely goes to another school. Kasagatha. Apparently this is both Cthulhu's sister and mate. What are you doing, 
step, bro. Ew. But not only that, it would be a double dick move to smash her. Also, I just smashed Cthulhu, so that would be a triple dick move. Pass. I'm a monster, but I'm not a monster. Gassed. Humanoid creatures that only speak in guttural squelches. I want to know what those squelches sound like when it's taking it up the butt. Smash. The HR dogs. I love puppies, but like a family member. Pass. I don't live in Alabama. Are you happy? You think this sick, horrible crap is funny? Suggesting someone play Smash or Pass with the Happy Meat Farms abominations? Sure, it's all fun and games when Markiplier is pretending what he did to all those Pokemon were just jokes. This has gone too far. But evidently, when it comes to internet clout and special green papers, I am a whore. So let's get into it. Starting with the human subjects, H0018. You look like an avocado. Had sex with an older, more disgusting avocado. Yeah. Not gentle. Like he was hating. Bass. H0019. Okay, so the whole head top area is just like one big mouth. So if we could get like a guillotine glory hole type rig where I couldn't even see it, that'd be the only way I could even entertain this notion. Honestly though, pass. H0020. I don't even know what I'd do with this one. A hole is a hole, but I don't see a hole. So I think I have to pass out of logistic impossibility. H0021. Honestly, it'll be a miracle if any of you get smashed. Even despite the fact that you're all horrific abominations that even a passing thought of would turn any sane individual either dry or flaccid depending on what's down there, none of you are wearing any clothes, and I haven't even introduced myself yet. You keep saying, oh, but it's smash or pass, aha, but that's not an excuse. You were naked before you knew I was gonna make this video. Pass. I need to take a shower. H0022. Smash. He has kind eyes. H0023. Call me shallow, but there's no picture of this one. I need to know what I'm getting into, especially with what the rest of the people look like on this weird meat-themed dating app. Pass. H0024. I'm not really sure what any of you were expecting. What? You thought I was just gonna waltz out here and say I wanna stick my dick in this thing? This hideous, horrible abomination that has a humiliation and financial domination kink and they paid me all to say those mean things? Pass. They've already finished. H0025. This guy looks like a human anthill. I'm not trying to make assumptions, but last time I put my dick in a regular anthill, Hill, it ended very badly. Pass. H0027. Under regular circumstances, pass, but because they were the only ones with those files from earlier and I had to make a video that week, well, I already admitted to being a prostitute. Smash. Before we get to the grand finale, lightning round, because I don't want to fuck any of these animals. C0172. This thing doesn't even got no holes to speak of. Pass. M0097. Anything you put in there is gonna come out covered in tumors. Pass. B0112. This thing lives despite no face, meaning that that mouth do nothing. Pass. M0098. No, I don't want to f*** a dead cow. Pass. B0113. Happy Meat Farms doesn't shy away from the horrific and gory. Why would you want to put your genitals anywhere near the things that they do censor? Pass. C0174. Would you want to f*** a still probably living chicken nugget that wherever you look is always making eye contact? Pass. M0099. I already know everyone's gonna call this one thick with extra C's in the comments. And sometimes I wonder who's more at fault. Me for making this video, or all of you for watching it? We're all to blame. Pass. P0114. This is another one of those where I have no idea where it would even go. I could stick it in the eye. Nah, pass. M0101. I don't want to do coitus with a cow. I don't want to do coitus with a spider. So I don't know why you thought combining them would make me want to. Pass. All right, now for the big two. Mother. Despite the fact that this is a horrific monstrosity which we cannot see, you gotta do what you gotta do to get yourself a muse. Sometimes you just gotta roll up your sleeves and your foreskin and get to work. Alex Bale, smash, alien. No, 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 no. This thing has a trachea in its trachea that can extend and retract. Wait, 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 wait. Have you ever gotten the Glizzy Guzzler 9000 from a throat inside of a throat? Wait, 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 wait. I think not, smash. The thing. Okay, so this is one of those creatures that could literally be anyone or anything you could possibly want. I want it to have like 37 thick asses. The only way this wouldn't be a smash is if you valued something stupid like personality or chemistry. Ha! Gay! Smash. Jason Voorhees. It depends at which stage we're talking about with Jason, because as the movies go on, he just gets like more decayed and waterlogged. 
A corpse that's been discovered in the reeds floating in the water full of gas and maggots is not a place you should put your folds and flaps. Pass. Freddy Krueger. A lot of you might think I'd pass on Freddy because of his torn up face and skin, but I'm not that shallow. It's not all about looks, guys. It's actually because his knife clubs would tear my c*** from my body and because the rest of them looks fucking disgusting too. Pass. The Fly. First off, Jeff Goldblum has always kind of looked like an old man in my head, and every time I watch The Fly, I'm just utterly in shock as to how f***ing ripped he was. But this isn't about uncomfortably ripped melty Jeff Goldblum, it's about the Brundlefly abomination that he turns into. No, I don't think I'll be having sex with that. Pass. Tusk. A walrus assembled out of a traumatized screaming man and a suit made from corpses. I know you're all sitting behind your screens waiting for me to say how I'd go full walrus on this thing's anus, and you should all be very ashamed of yourself. Pass. I will never recover. The toothy vag lady from Teeth. You might be thinking that the teeth are a deal breaker, but the thing is, she doesn't have to bite down. I've trusted plenty of people to allow it in their mouths. If the lady seemed normal and non-murderous, I'd also trust a downstairs mouth. Smash. The little doll from Saw. Despite the fact that my masochistic tendencies would pair quite well with this, it's a weird little doll on a tricycle. Also, he looks like he has clown makeup on. I learned from my time spent with the clussy that no matter how hard I try, clown porn is not my thing. Pass. The Nun. Michael Myers from Halloween. There's a time and a place for a deadpan performance, and it's great when delivered in things like comedy or a murderous rampage. Applying the same logic to sex sounds uncomfortable. I don't want you to just sit there stone-faced and make direct eye contact with me as your shitty theme music plays. For God's sake, man, say something! Pass. Predator. This thing's mouth anatomy could give the best slob gobbler knob groveler I've ever seen in my whole gosh darn life. Smash. The aliens from A Quiet Place. They got that foldy face. I bet its weird ear sockets are capable of giving one hell of a chold gulper with extra sauce. Okay, seriously, this is getting weird now. Why do so many horror movie aliens have such foldable faces? What do you mean I'm the weird one? They're putting- they're the weird ones! They made it! When I go on a date and she asks what I do, what the f do you t would you tell her? I don't know. The only thing I can do is send the siren head video and hope she doesn't find the ones about me satirically f***ing all of these monsters. You think I'd keep doing this if it wasn't insanely popular? Leatherface. I was gonna say pass to this one, but this mofo's got a silver tongue. I mean, how are you supposed to say no when this Casanova hits you with <gasps> Smash. You never had a chance. Cenobites from Hellraiser. The Wire Twins. Those two uncanny valley horrifically distorted yet somehow also sexualized Cenobites are literally made for f***ing the denizens of hell. They massage your muscles under the skin and have elongated tongues for exactly what you think they're for. Smash, obviously. Chucky. Considering how poorly everyone reacted when Dan Harmon, the creator of Rick and Morty, created a short film where he pretended to f*** a baby doll and everything else that's wrong with this whole scenario, and the fact that Chucky would constantly be trying to stab at me. Pass. The tire from rubber. I've never gotten a tread job, but if it's anything like that time I got my d*** run over by a flatbed, pass. Uzumaki's spiral carved face lady. So this one is pretty much just a regular woman if you avoid looking at her horribly disfigured face. You know, if I take enough Benadryl, maybe I can get my vision so blurry that I think I'm f female Japanese Mike Tyson. Smash. So here's how this is gonna work. Two desert eagles attached to the man. <laughs> Wait, dude, stop. He's dead. He's dead. He's already dead. Uzumaki's Spiral Man. Not only do I not really bend that way, but he's bent every which way. Where would I even find a spot to slip it in? Also, it's probably so contorted that I would need hardware like a duck cock to get anywhere. Pass. Last but not least for Uzumaki, the snail people. Now I know you think I'd say smash because it's hella slippery and slimy, but what you failed to predict is that I am an expert in how animals have sex, and snails actually f by stabbing each other in their bits with super sharp penis starts. 
so that's a pass. The Amigara Fault. On one hand, it's a hole made to fit me exactly, but on the other hand, the walls are made out of rock. A perfectly molded fleshlight that you then fill with gravel sounds like more of a torture device than a sex toy. Pass. The Balloon Noose People. It would basically be a biological creature designed for narcissists with an autoerotic asphyxiation thing. Smash, but I'm not either of those things and also don't check. Blackbird. The mysterious woman that feeds the dying guy mouth to mouth with rotten flesh to keep him alive. I'm into a lot of gross, degrading, and unsanitary things, but I can confidently say that vomit is not one of them, much less if the vomit was my own rotting flesh. Pass. The masses of people who are stitched together an army of one. Okay, so if you're into weird knife stuff and tie-ups, this would be your absolute dream. The sharp pokey bits don't appeal to me, but this is also the biggest orgy you could hope for on your planet. Smash! The sleepy man's from the long dream. Remember folks, if someone's unconscious, don't shove things in their orifices. I shouldn't have to tell you this, but you clicked on this video. So I don't, I don't, I don't know, man. I don't know. Pass. The neighbor monster lady from the window next door. I know girl next door fantasies are a thing, but this creature is the most disgusting sight I've ever laid eyes on. Not only that, but she is way too aggressive towards a family member's son who was probably far too young. And she likely belongs in jail. Pass. The slimy pimple people from Glyceride. I do like slime, but goddamn get a skincare routine. I know some people can't control it, but if you're drinking a bottle bottle of grease a day and saying you don't know why you can't control your acne, it's like someone eating at McDonald's three times every day and saying they don't know why they can't control their weight. Pass. There's nothing wrong with struggling, but just goddamn be honest. Dissection girl. You know, this is not the first time I've gotten a request to cut someone open during coitus, and I'm gonna say what I said the last time. I'll hold it up to your neck, but I'm not gonna finish the job because this is not worth going to jail for. Smash. The cannibal monster fashion model lady. With this mouth, a blowy is definitely not on the table. Also, I don't know, I just kind of find her unnerving. I know her story is tragic because she's trying to find love, but like every incel needs to learn that being sexually frustrated does not mean you could be a dick. Pass. The Licking Woman. Now, if there wasn't any mention of her saliva being some sort of lethal pathogen, I'd be willing to give it a go with this big tongue lady. But in her current state, that's nasty. Pass. Take some antibiotics and get back to me with negative test results. The Ribs Woman. The midsection is so detailed and graphic, it's enough to give me the heebie-jeebies. Plus, with all the wires, it's impossible not to get poked, and could you imagine the noises? Ugh. Pass. Abyssal Copapod. Those weird fingers are probably useful for lots of things that I can never unimagine. Pass. I need therapy, but you need therapy more, because you clicked on this for enjoyment. I cannot believe I have to have this conversation with all of you again. Telling someone to play Smash or Pass with the mystery flesh pit fauna is not only inappropriate, but it's also disgustingly horrible and depraved to a point beyond recovery. And I am so honored that all of you thought of me to be your dark guide in this defiance to God. So let's get into it. Lesser Copapod. I think this is just like the Abyssal Copapod, except it's a submissive. Pass. Any hole with an exoskeleton on the outside sounds like sticking it in an antique pencil sharpener. Bone mite. I have a thing about bugs in my bed, especially ones that want to suck my bones out and leave me a skin puddle. Pass. Just like the bone thieves can't get it up. Macrobacteria. I'm pretty sure that anything organic that goes in there gets dissolved and digested. Not a huge vor guy. Although, some theorize that multicellular life was created when one cell ate another and didn't absorb it. So perhaps my dick could become the powerhouse of this new amalgamation cell. Smash, but for science. Gangliotoad. Now, there are a lot of things you could do with this weird flesh tube feather duster, but all of them feel kind of like torture methods. That's some Uncanny Valley BDSM type shit. Smash. Amorphous shame. This thing is just one long slippery tube. Realistically, I bet I could use this creature as a condom to fuck something else. Is that technically a three-way? Smash. Venus shamble. You could kind of stick it in the front. Or if you're a girl and like incredibly promiscuous, you could attempt to insert the entire thing like that one porn video where that girl sticks an entire bald man's head up her vagina. You ever see that one? Pass. Greater ballast siren and lesser ballast siren. Okay, seeing
seeing as how you're already in the amniotic springs, there's likely not a single thing any conscious being wouldn't bone when in that liquid crap. Smash, but not of my own choice. Shrieking Cloistropod. Okay, so this thing could both be used as a fleshlight and a dildo, but it's a little too hairy for my tastes. No shade if that's your thing, and like, it's not gonna stop me if I'm really into someone, but this thing is basically just four sex toys taped together, so pass. Though aren't we all just like four sex toys taped together? Stinging Triocanth. These things kind of remind me of giant fleshy wasps. Last time I had a regular wasp near my dingle, it ended incredibly poorly. Pass. The pit itself. Even if I wanted to say smash, which I don't, I don't logistically see any feasible way to get this done. Despite the fact that my dick is obviously Lovecraftian in scale, but please don't check, there's no situation in which this just wouldn't be like a hot dog in a hallway. Straight up though, it's kind of like screwing a famous person. Even if they aren't hot, it's a huge flex. Smash. Hopefully it can lead to some good networking opportunities. Gas Bowel. Could you imagine the suction potential this small, strange, slimy creature holds? Smash. Expectorate. Now, I'm not sure if doing the sextorate to the expectorate would give you the special DMT venom, but there's only one way to find out. Smash. Compound organism. It really depends on the compound organism in this case, because if I'm dealing with country bears, Cronenberg Jamboree, or the circus clown Chymus, the answer is going to be different than if some raging incel throws a bunch of e-girls into the pit. Gastric bristle worm. I'm already in a committed relationship with the parasitic worms that I already have, so pass. Anodyne sensory organ brain case. Imagine your entire existence was just a brain and a tongue, and then one day you felt and tasted that someone was rubbing their dick on it. I have no mouth and I must come. Pass. Marrow folk. So it's kind of like a human, but more slimy and kind of like that weird sticky goblin creature from The Descent. Is there a third option that depends on how many drinks I've had? Because is my video, and now there is and that's the one that I picked. Taurus Gorefield. You see that little glowy doodle in between its head stabber? I'm pretty sure it contains the sum of all human knowledge, which is precisely why I intend to stick my dick in it. Brain fuck all of you at once. Smash. I can't live in this world anymore! Aries Gorefield. Okay, so it's either getting a weird cat sandpapery tongue on it or trying to find a spot in the bones. That's disturbing as hell. Can't believe fucking these weird monsters on the internet is my job now. We all live in the darkest timeline. Pass. Gemini Gorefield. I'm gonna stick my thingy in the one side and then it's gonna come out the other one. Smash. Just like humans do with their ears all the time. Don't fucking lie to me. I know it's true. Cancer Gorefield. Out of logistics, I'm not sure how this one would work. Would this thing just have the weird crab egg undercarriage? I guess you could just whoop the scoop all over the egg. Usually crabs are pretty small though, so a human piping one of them would just kill them. I'd be willing to bet that at least one human being has been caught fucking a crab to death. Pass, weirdo. Virgo Gorefield. Okay, real talk here, I would totally get dome from the girl on the front of Virgo Gorefield's lore, and then if the Gorefield tried to eat me, I'd just kill it, rip its tongue out, finish, and then leave. Smash. Leo Gorefield. Okay, I was gonna say no because this thing is a living statue and if you've ever used a rock crevice as a fleshlight or stuck a stalactite in your vag tight, you might understand that a rock is not a very fun tool to use for that. However, this thing can raise anyone from hell back to the earth. So you could potentially have a necrophiliac million way with the hottest people from history and the only caveat is you have to watch a weird brimstone lion jay off in the corner. Sometimes I wonder if I'm the first one to say things and this is one of those times and it's all your fault. Libra Gorefield. How in the actual f do you expect me to have relations with an old style scale? This one isn't even disturbing, it's just a stupid question. Pass. Scorpio Gorefield. Last time I got my penis stung by a scorpion several times and then decided not to seek medical attention, it got all pus filled, turned black, and then fell off. My species can grow them back though and it was an inch bigger, so I want to try again and see. Smash. Sagittarius Gorefield. A man horse cat that likes to gamble with someone's life. I'm not into horse ass, but being that shit crazy does add a few hotness points. Make it a woman horse cat and you got yourself a smash. Capricorn Gorefield. Well, the entire goddamn body is just wrong and disgusting, and the mouth is just filled with rows of razor sharp teeth. So there's literally not one single appealing aspect of this. Pass. Aquarius Gorefield. Real talk, he's got that magic jar that can turn human blood into any liquid. 
I wonder what the fuck is gonna happen if I fill it with my splooge. Smash. Pisces Gorefield. Goldfish are basically like a big living fleshlight. No, I have never considered therapy. Why do you ask? Smash. Worms from Dune. If I was in this desert, every time I wanted to nut, I could just hump the ground to make vibrations and get the worm to come up and get a mouthful. Smash. What the f*** are you watching in my house?! The Body Snatchers. It depends whose body is being snatched. All I'm saying is, if it's an Instagram model, the answer is gonna be different than if it's a DMV attendant whose ass is fused to their chair. Wally, -E, a cube-shaped robot that spends most of its time digging through trash. If I wanted to stick it in something full of jagged metal and strange pathogens, I'd f*** Ohio. Pass. Eve, however, I'm certain that this Swiss army knife of a utility robot has something resembling a wet hole somewhere in there. Smash. Remember from that movie the people got so fat that they couldn't even move? I liked that part. <laughs> All of society was my 600 pound life. What a world. The girl from Blade Runner. I've never seen Blade Runner, but I googled her and she's pretty cute. Also, half the things I f*** for this show are abominations, so you better believe it's a smash. The AI robot lady from Ex Machina. So basically a girl made of silicone instead of meat. Smash. Honestly not sure if I could tell the difference between this and the real thing. Is that problematic? Meh, who cares. Rick from Rick and Morty. In his current form, I'm not about to screw an old man. However, we all know that he can just make any type of body that he wants. So I'd screw a young woman, Rick. Wait, would that just be Beth? Oh, just open Twitter. I wrote that joke before this happened. And I think I'm canceled. Unfortunately, unlike Rick and Morty. The three boobed space ho from Total Recall. Smash, this isn't even a question. To all those that say more doesn't always mean better, he should and die. Robocop, from Robocop. I don't think I could really feel comfortable in any situation with a cop because they might find the not illegal drugs that I totally don't have. Pass. The Big Bugs from Starship Trooper. I've never really had sex with a giant beetle before, but hey, there's a first time for everything. Smash. Doc from Back to the Future. So a, a time traveling old man. I'm still an, an old man. Pass. The Terminator. Arnold Schwarzenegger is one of the most goaded bodybuilders of all time, and also the governor of California. Smash by default. The guns from High on Life. I know their funny dialogue is the best part of the game, but all you're gonna be hearing from them for the next 10 minutes or so is gonna be... I'm sorry. I'm not sorry, but I am. I should be. Smash. Leela from Futurama. Not only is she hot, but one eye and a purple color scheme, she's perfectly on brand. Smash. E.T. This thing looks like if you took one of those hairless testicle cats, gave it an uncanny valley human face, and then aged it up 80 years. Smash. The Advanced Apes from Planet of the Apes. I know apes have 98% of the same DNA as human beings, but holy shit, does that 2% make a difference? Pass. The cast of Star Wars. I'ma say pass to every single characters except for the three obvious hottest ones. Leia, the alien girl, and the baddest of the baddies, the Sarlacc Pit. The characters from Star Trek. I've never seen any Star Trek, so I'll just say smash to, I think there's like only one girl in every single iteration and a bumpy headed Vulcan dude. So I just f him in the forehead and, and then pass the rest. Hal from 2001, A Space Odyssey. If this thing's entire body is a spaceship, then I'm really not sure what the move is. I'm pretty sure any hole I stick it in is a recipe for dick electrocution. Pass. The Crawl. Some of you might say that the crawl wasn't designed to be boinked, but to that I say, all those little nutrition absorption organs on the front look an awful lot like another type of hole that I know. Smash. Every day I question what I have become. Trimming. This thing is described as looking like a skinned raccoon. Last time I tried something along those lines with a skinned raccoon, I got a disease and a felony. Pass. Meat snake. Now initially, some of you might think that a cylinder made of putrefied meat would be a pass because of sepsis. However, because of the internal chemistry of meat snakes, it is inhospitable to diseases, so it can't give you an STD. Smash. Meat Mimic. This thing is one of the closest analogs to a human being on this list. It's never noted whether or not this creature also uncannily replicates a butthole or naughty bits, but I'm going to assume it has at least one out of the two, because if it needs to eat, it needs to poop. Smash. 
Smash. The Human Disguised Mimic. This is still a Smash, but for a reason that might sound counterintuitive, I'd actually rather Smash the meaty one. This is because as things get closer to humanity, they actually get more uncanny. Like, the skin one freaks me out a lot more than the one without the skin. Also, the meaty one's probably slimier. Elder Meat Mimic. The Elder Meat Mimic might seem a bit big for some of you, but you forget that its teeth actually slide to the back of its throat when it becomes an elder. Sounds like this monstrosity could take you to Sloppy Top City. Smash. Um. You know, every time I make one of these Smash or Pass videos, I pride myself on making content that's at best questionable and at worst incriminating. I really feel like I've done that today. Harvester. This thing is basically asking me if I want to have sex with a roided out bear trap that's made of meat. I mean, look at those teeth. Of course I want to get my d*** eviscerated like a check in a paper shredder, idiot. Pass. Host of Influence. I guess this would depend on whether or not I was under the influence of its spores. If I was hypnotized by the meaty plant boy, of course it would be a smash. Since I'm not currently under its spell, eh, actually, I'll still f*** it. Smash. Monoliths. Of course. Someone who makes Smash or Pass videos on YouTube behind the moniker of an animated character has a giant penis. Obviously. I don't think anyone's here to debate that. The problem concerning the monolith, though, is obviously a size issue. I mean, look at the circumference of its mouth. No way I would fit. Pass. The singularity. I have major commitment issues, so committing my eternal being into another eternal being sounds like moving in together before you've even had sex. Recipe for disaster down the road. Pass. Goat person. Are we talking bottom half goat and top half girl, or top half goat and bottom half girl? Either way, I'm a human animal hybrid half full kind of guy. Smash. How do you feel? Like a real man. Banshee. The saying scream like a banshee comes from the myth that if you hear a banshee's horrific screech, someone in your family is gonna die soon. I'ma be real. After this, all my neighbor's families are gonna die soon. Smash. Sea Serpent. All we gotta do is take out the teeth and drain the seawater and then this thing is basically just one giant wiggly fleshlight. Smash. Minotaur. A creature with the body of a human and the head of a bull. Honestly, as long as the body is normal and I don't have to French kiss with a cow tongue down my throat, consider it a smash. Phoenix. I won't be putting my member anywhere near a bird that catches fire. Third degree burns all over my third leg sounds like a fate worse than death. Pass. Griffin. Half eagle, half lion. As a not furry, I wouldn't do any of these things separately, so I'm not gonna do it if you stick them together. Pass. The Kraken. Initially, some of you might think that it's a smash because all those slippery tentacles. However, this creature has a beak chomping anything that comes close to its mouth hole. For the sake of avoiding crotch amputation, it's gonna have to be a pass. The app. I. Give me a second. F. How the f do I say this? What? I tried, okay? I, I tried. The name is this. A race of horrific human-scorpion hybrids. Some say they look like this, but this decrepit evil blobfish version is much funnier. So that's the one that I'm telling you that it is. Also, either way, it's fucking disgusting. Pass. Camazots. An anthropomorphic bat creature. I know what you're thinking, but this thing isn't based off the vampire bat, so it may not have its trademark legendary suck. However, at this point in my career, vaguely anthropomorphic Anthropomorphic is a selling point. Smash! Dokolosh. A little gremlin guy with a hole in its head and no eyes that everyone blames for their problems and mistakes. Honey, I'm pregnant. Tokolosh. What do you mean? How dare you cheat on me? Smash. Hecatonkeries. A giant with a hundred arms and fifty heads. Even if you don't go all the way, all those mouths and fingers, it's bound to be otherworldly. I wonder how many genitals it has. Smash. Slipnir. Basically an eight-legged horse. The fact that this has eight legs doesn't change the fact that I don't want to butt f a horse. Pass. Yaramayahu, a little Australian red vampire guy that sucks all the blood out of people using their little slurpy fingers. I just said little slurpy fingers, and there's still any question as to whether or not I would? Smash. Eshirim Yokai. No cap, this one translates from Japanese as butt eye strange apparition. It's like staring into a smelly mirror. If you wouldn't screw yourself, you got some serious work to do. Smash. The Boogeyman, a purposefully nondescript monster that steals 
those nasty children from their home. Apparently, it can take any shape it wants. Shapeshifters are an auto smash because they can transform into anyone or anything you could possibly want. Top half three boobed alien lady, bottom half Cardi B. Ready, go! A Baraman, a weird reversed leg person that can apparently run at superhuman speeds. So it's a regular human with its butt on backwards. Compared to the rest of the list, she's a supermodel. Smash, Wonder Woman. The lasso seems like it'd be a fun addition. Only problem is it makes me tell the truth. Eh, she's pretty cute. I don't care if I admit to my war crimes. Smash. I need photos, photos of Spider-Man. Superman. I'm gonna tick a lot of people off, but Superman is basically one-dimensional Homelander. No way someone has that much power and just chooses to spend all of their time being nice to ants. Pass. There's no way in hell Superman tolerates anything other than vanilla either. Batman. First of all, let's get it out of the way. Batman's a goddamn furry and I'm not, so it's a pass. Second of all, his parents' death was enough to get him to run around in a bat suit in the middle of the night assaulting criminals. You don't think that level of obsession is gonna unhealthily creep into his intimate life? Pass. I don't wanna roleplay as both his dead parents at the same time. Elastigirl. Ever been tied up with somebody's limbs while their head goes wherever it wants? Me neither, but ask me after I finish the next sentence. Smash. The Hulk. Honestly, I'm not sure if it will be really big or really small, because it's either going to match the rest of his body or he's going to have a little roid dong. Either way, it's a pass, but She-Hulk, however. Remember that scene where she twerked and then a bunch of basement people got really angry on behalf of Stan Lee's ghost without knowing his opinion? Yeah, this is different from regular Marvel. It's better. Smash. Wolverine. There's just so many ways this could go wrong. You know what they say, better safe than bleeding from what used to be your genitals. Pass. Iron Man. Cyborg Robert Downey Jr. definitely has some sort of cybernetic vibrating Jarvis integrated fleshlight somewhere in there. Smash. Uh. Spider-Man. On one hand, he could get really creative with webs. On the other hand, he got this weird spider disease from getting bitten. So is it contagious? I think I'm gonna pass on account of potential spider crabs. Aquaman. I think that saltwater would be insanely painful when entering any hole, and also I'm pretty sure he's gonna try to make it a 23-way with every fish in the reef. Pass. Black Panther. That suit is one of the coolest superhero costumes in my opinion. Only second to Deadpool and the legendary CEO of sex himself, Kite Man. Smash. Captain Marvel. Wait a minute. Is Captain Marvel made by Marvel, so her power is meta product placement? That comment's gonna piss off some Marvel stands, but I don't care. Smash. Captain America. For some people, Captain America might check all the boxes. For some reason, I feel like this guy would snitch on you to the federal government for not doing your taxes or doing your drugs, so that's a pass. The Flash. While the speed and athleticism may be top tier, we also don't know if he has the fastest cum response in the world. Two pump chump? Not really something you put on the resume, but Pass. Ant-Man. You remember the scene from The Boys where a knockoff Ant-Man crawls up someone's urethra and then explodes them into a pile of blood? That's, uh, that's why I'm gonna pass. Groot. I love his catchphrase, and he's literally got muscles made out of wood. However, all of him is made out of wood, and I don't want my wood to get splinters. Pass. Black Widow. Some of you might make fun of her for not having powers, but she's fighting these world-ending enemies with no magic Marvel roids to speak of. If anything, that makes her even hotter. Smash. I know what you're about to say. Why are so many of them dudes? Listen here, you little shit. I could either just predictably say pass the whole time, not include the most popular heroes, or make jokes and satirize the Smasher Pass format as a whole. I'm not gay, guys. I'm just playing the YouTube algorithm. Come on, stop. It's hurting my feeling. Mystique. Not only is this blue lady thicker than all hell, she can transform into everything anyone could ever want. Smash. I got a weird chair with the butt cut out and a list of e-girls. Let's do this shit. Have you all considered therapy or possibly euthanasia? Harley Quinn. When I say mentally ill, barely dressed, but somehow still dressed weird with weird colored hair is my type, that isn't even a joke. That's exactly my type. Smash. Lex Luthor. So it's like Elon Musk, but like bald.
Aw, oh, damn it. Um, I gotta pay $8 to get unbanned. Pass. Thanos. I'm not saying Purple Shrek isn't thick, because that gif of him twerking proved what it needed to. All I'm saying is my dongus is one snap away from becoming a pile of dust. Pass. Too risky. The Joker. For me, it depends on the iteration. Am I dealing with the Heath Ledger psycho or Suicide Squad's fake, not intimidating gangster persona? Because I'm really not in the mood to knock Jared Leto's teeth out with my dong. Screw it. Pass on all the clowns. Catwoman. I don't think there's a more flexible woman in the DC universe. There's also something about a tight leather bodysuit that really does it for me. Probably the fact that it was literally designed for that. Smash. Bane. You only adopted the horny. I was born in it, molded by it. I didn't see a pussy until I was already a man. By then, it was nothing to me but blinding! Smash. Poison Ivy. Poison Ivy is a definite smash. I know the name might sound a little scary considering a bumpy red rash on your peepee, -pee, but keep in mind this, this person can control any plant. Definitely knows the slimiest one and which one can make your dopamine go burr. Smash. Scarecrow. I feel like if Scarecrow knows how to isolate pure fear into a gas, they can definitely isolate pure arousal in a gas. Enough of that scarecrow molly could get me to say smash to anyone. Megamind. No bitches? Nah, if you saw the end of this movie, Megamind gets mad bitches. I'm gonna bust on that big blue dome and you would use it to polish it all shiny. What the hell am I talking about again? Smash. Dr. Octopus. All those arms, if this man's got a tentacle eye coordination game on par with his engineering chops, he could give one hell of a mechanical dandle manhandle. Smash. Venom. I'm not putting it anywhere near Eddie Brock, but the symbiote, however, could you imagine how being entirely engulfed by this goopy glob monster with an intense mind-to-mind -mind connection with Veal? Smash. Dr. Doom. The metal mask seems like it might be too sharp to involve Sloppy Toppy, so for Dr. Doom, I gotta pass. MF Doom, however, I'm a sucker with someone with some talent. Rest in peace to the greatest rapper to ever live, non-negotiable Smash. Magneto. You ever hear of the guy who got a, a magnet ball stuck in his urethra and then had to go to the hospital after putting a paperclip in his pocket? Yeah, that's what I imagine it's like being with this goober. Pass. Two-Face. How does one put a bag over only half the face? I will say that Two-Face would probably be the ultimate switch. Although, if you told the nice side what you were into in confidence, the mean side would definitely spill it. Pass. I can't risk that. Deadpool. I don't think he's a supervillain, but he's on the list because shut up. But Ryan Reynolds is Ryan Reynolds. I'm pretty sure you get an IMDB credit just for being in his ass. Smash. Creeper. This thing is inherently phallic, but if you were to do anything with it, the resulting explosion would probably give the room you two were sharing a new coat of blood red paint. That's a nice booty you got there. It'd be a shame if someone smashed it. Pass. Zombies. I'm a man of the flesh, but when the flesh is rotting, constantly falling off, and smells of putrid decay, that's when you gotta call pass. Villager. The noises for this mob always make me giggle, so I'm gonna do something ungodly for the lulls. <laughs> Smash. Ender Dragon. I've said it once, I'll say it a million times, there is likely already some weirdo somewhere petitioning to legally marry this video game reptile. And I am no homewrecker. Pass. Wither. This thing does have three heads, so it has that going for it. However, it is both a skeleton and has a wither effect. Not only would your bits be shredded and bleeding, they would also just wither away. Pass. It's the office Christmas party all over again. Enderman. Tall, dark, and beautiful. Not only that, but this thing can teleport. You can't beat the convenience of a sneaky link that is their own Uber. Smash. Wolf. I keep saying I'm not a furry, and you guys just call me a furry more. I guess it's true what they say. You can have dignity or a social media platform, but not both. Pass. And the same thing goes for the cat and the horse, you cat girl ML porn weirdos. Pig. Fun fact, people often say the closest analog for the feeling of human skin is pig skin. Well, I, I guess that wasn't really fun, but it was a fact. Smash. Um. Chicken. On average, one out of 256 eggs will drop a chicken. So to make a chicken AZFK hybrid, I will need to smash this poor, poor creature 256 times because I'm bad at math. Smash. Piglins. R remember that thing I said um. about pig skin and human skin and how they're pretty close and stuff? Well, they just 
just got a bit closer. Smash. Skeleton. If you've been around this channel before, I'm not paying for your therapy, but you also know how I feel about skeletal orifices, and pixelated is only gonna make that stabbing bone hole feel a whole lot worse. Pass. Iron Golem. An entire being made of heavy, rusted metal, and all of its parts end in sharp right angles. So it's basically signing up to get your bits stabbed and crushed and a bit of tetanus. Pass. Spider. I'm not really sure what kind of spider this thing is based off of, but with eight legs, you know this thing would give one crazy octo jerk. Smash. Slime. Soft and slimy, plus anywhere you stick it, it would make a hole. You know the getting's good when it sounds like... Smash. Cow. The cow has got to be a pass, but the mushroom, however... What kind of mushrooms you think those are? You think if I give it my balls, I'll trip balls? Only one way to find out. Smash. Builder. Wait a minute. It is just the player character, right? So technically, it would just be doing it yourself. I hate to disappoint the nofap or NNN crowd. Just kidding. I love it so much. I do it six times a day. Smash. For a second opinion, AZFK decided to get on the server of a world-renowned Minecraft expert. So you said you're like an expert? expert in Minecraft, right? Yeah, my dad owns the company that owns Minecraft. Bill Gates? Hey, wait, what was your dad doing with Jeffrey Epstein? Why are you on my server again? Oh, uh, I'm a YouTuber. My name is AZFK. Uh, well, <laughs> I've never heard of you. Oh, I make Smasher Pass videos, and, and I thought I would ask you which is the best to smash, because you know a lot, and you know, that's my full-time job now. How old are you? 22. Uh, uh, oof. What's that supposed to mean? Well, uh, my dad says I should stay in school so I don't end up like you. So, uh, which one would you smash? Actually, I'm not even sure I should be talking to someone like you at all. Pinky. This is an enemy that the tutorial says you should hit from the back if you know what I mean. One in the pinky and two in the stinky. Smash. Maybe God was right to abandon us. Mancubus. I can get down with the thickness as much as the next guy, but when it gets to my 1400 pound life level and you're busting out the stomach staple, I can't even find the holes anymore. Pass. Hell Knight. Look at the circumference and definition of those thighs. Those things could pop a head like a watermelon. Smash. Baron of Hell. The flame claws look cool, but they don't seem like they'd be practical for intimacy. Also, just look at those teeth. I know what you're thinking. Yeah, I checked, and the beehole has teeth too. Pass. Marauder. So it's basically just a muscular guy with horns and an axe? Yeah, I think Satanic Paul Bunyan gets a pass. Prowler. The teleportation aspect of these things? Talk about a nut and bolt. This thing is like the ultimate sneaky link. Smash, I'm never paying for an Uber again. Imps, gargoyles, zombies, and soldiers. I'm gonna lump all these together in one group because they're a one-hit kill. Look, I'm just gonna say it. Being a demon and a one-hit kill is like being a human and a two-pump chump. Embarrassing waste of time. Pass. Archville. This thing is like a big orgy in one demon. I could just get it to summon a buttload of succubi. I'll suck you by. That didn't make any sense. Smash. Cacao Demon. So this one is kind of like a floating testicle with razor sharp teeth. I mean, I guess getting head is off the table. It's technically thick, but if the whole body is the butt, is anywhere really the butt? Pass. I've walked around this thing like four times and I still don't know. Pain Elemental. Now this is... Still, also a floating testicle, but with those roided out arms, it could at least do something with a hand. But on the other roided out testicle hand, the teeth are even worse than the first ball, so it's another pass. Revenant. Now, skeletal monsters typically have very sharp holes, but if I were to disable its top launcher, that looks like maybe it could work. Eh, this one depends on how long it's been since I've gotten some. Carcass. Now, the whole rotting dead body upper half seems like an L, but if the weird spider robot Bot butt does have a hole, I bet a million dollars that it vibrates. Smash. Doom Hunter. I've said it once, I'll say it a million times. I'm an ass man. The fact that they chopped off them thunder thighs and replaced them with a goddamn toaster is a tragedy. Pass. Arachnotron. I wasn't into regular spiders, so whoever assumed that slapping a turret and a human brain on it would fix that is obviously wrong. Pass. Whiplash. So it's basically like a human plus a snake. I know it's slithery on the outside, but let's find out if it feels slithery on the inside. Smash. Tyrant. Not very appealing, right? But just hear me out. 
nostrils. Smash. Cue balls. One wrong thrust and this thing paints the walls red with all the blood in my dick. Pass. Icon of sin. I obviously have the biggest one. It's it's a fact that needs no verification. But w with how big this thing is, it's just gonna be like when I threw that fat kid's corn dog down the well. A lot of crying. Pass. Con maker. Are those mechanical chesticles? Finally, a demon from the game that has things even remotely resembling reproductive organs. Or at least any ones that I'd have interest in. Smash. I mean, if I was God, I'd abandon us too. Mario. I'm about to make this Italian plumber go <laughs> by hopping down his pipes. I wonder if he'll jump on my Goomba. Smash. Oh, I'm gonna get so f***ing sued by Nintendo. <laughs>。How could anyone even think of passing on her? She's gotta be hella thick under that dress. I mean, her name is the same name as the butt emoji. Smash. What the f do you mean it's a fruit? Daisy. I've always felt like Daisy is just kind of a reskin of Peach that they made so they didn't have to develop Luigi's character into that incel that one day decides he's had enough and then also decides to blow up a children's hospital. I'm not saying that is a bad thing. I also said that Peach was hot. Smash. Goomba. This one kind of looks like a dong. Also, I always wondered if the slur came from the video game, or there was an already pre-existing slur for Italians that Miyamoto was like, hell yeah, I'm putting it in a children's game. Just watch me. I'm not gonna Google it because I like the second one, and I'm pretty sure that's not what it is. Smash. Luigi. Do you guys remember when Nintendo uploaded a picture of Luigi in a tennis outfit, and then a bunch of people on Tumblr decided to hyper-analyze the bulge in attempts to determine the size of his dingle and came to the conclusion that it was 3.7 inches soft? No? Well, ignorance is bliss, and I just stole that from you. Pass. Yoshi. Have you ever seen the length and stickiness of this thing's tongue? This green dinosaur could be one hell of a wizard with the glizzy gizzard blizzard despite being a lizard. Smash. Erdo. Oh wow, a mouth that looks and functions exactly like a suction cup. I wonder what low hanging fruit kind of joke this could be used for. I'd like to get that mouth around my low hanging fruits. Smash. Wario. The sheer thickness of this lad cannot be contained. Also, since I found out that people sell fart jars online, I now know that that's a thing, and for some reason that's one of his abilities. Pass. Waluigi. Tall, dark, and handsome. Hi key, I feel like one of my exes kinda looks like Waluigi. Like a purple shirt, mustache, and overalls away. So I guess I've already smashed. Donkey Kong. For the millionth time, I am not a furry. Pass. But for real though, you know me constantly saying that I'm not a furry is baiting you to comment, right? Bowser. I just established that I'm not a furry, and now I go to establish that I'm not a scaly. Pass. Bowsette, however, is definitely hot enough for me to be a hypocrite. Smash. Koopa Troopa. Fun fact, when the Koopa Troopa hops back into its shell, it actually has a hole for all of its limbs and its head. It'd be a shame to let all those holes go to waste. Smash. Chompy Plant. Normally when I try to have sex with plants, they just die, but I feel like this one would bite my dingle right off my body. Just like when I think about steroids, the only reason I'm saying no is because I am very invested in my own penis. Thwomp. A giant heavy stone rectangular block that smashes down at great speed, crushing whatever is under it. I gotta say, one of my favorite things about myself is how my pingus hasn't been excruciatingly flattened to the point of being a useless pancake. So I gotta pass. Toad. I like mushrooms as much as the next guy, but I don't know if I like them enough to put aside my sexual preferences. Toadette, however, I'd take a trip to her mushroom kingdom. I wonder if I trip balls if I'll insert them. Smash. Rosalina. Rosalina's a baddie, and I bet she could incorporate these weird little star critters to lick the back of my nut. Oh god, that's a little too far. It's such a funny show. I'm such a very funny, funny f guy. Miss Pauling. This is gonna be the only smash in the video with any shred of sincerity behind it. I mean, come on. Let me put it this way. Do you have any doubt of who's gonna be in the thumbnail to get the down bads to click? Smash. <sighs> Seduce me. Scout. The figure and athleticism is on point, but the speed is actually what I'm worried about. This class's one characteristic is that it's fast. 
and also from Brooklyn, I think. But that's besides the point because this is probably someone who's gonna finish in two seconds. Pass. Soldier. How does he even see out from under that helmet? Doesn't seem like he's the brightest knife in the crayon box. The soldier kind of looks like the type of motherfucker to drink a beer with a straw. Pass. Pyro. First off, Pyro is the only playable girl, so smash. Second off, an all-encompassing latex bodysuit plus a gas mask? You know they always say to seize the opportunities you get, and some online pervert would pay great money for this. Smash. And then, oh fuck. Demo man. Since man is in the name, this is an auto pass. A demo woman, however, an over the top strong binge drinking Scottish woman sounds like it could be a fun time. Smash. Heavy. I can get with the thickness as much as the next guy, but I feel like he'd make sounds like but a big but a boom is body syndrome. when your ball's deep. So it's a pass. Engineer. Say what you want, this man definitely has the most advanced fleshlight technology that humanity has ever seen. I let the engineer get to work erect in my dispenser. Man, how the f did I get here? Um, Smash. Medic. Regardless of my opinion, after seeing my medical charts, I don't think the medic would want to smash me. I wouldn't say it's a pass, more of a, they said to take one of these pills with food every day and that I should call them after two weeks of that. So, you you know, ask me again in two weeks. Sniper. I don't know if it's canon, but I'm pretty sure the Gerardi jar he throws is his own piss, right? Holy sh! I just googled it, and directly from the TF2 wiki, it says, Gerardi takes the form of a closed jar of what appears to be the sniper's urine. There's kinky, and then there's shattering jars of your own piss over other people's heads, kinky. Pass. Spy. We have to assume that I'm on the other team, and that this disguise is 100% accurate down to the ash cheek and is fooling me. If they can disguise as anything, and they're disguised as a girl who I'm really attracted to, of course it's gonna work. Just like the game, the part that gets messy is when I find out that it's a spy. Smash, then kill. The fake 10th guard dog class. Yeah, I just included it to say that I'm not a furry to bait you to comment. What of it? Some of you might ask why I included something not in the game if I was just gonna dismiss it angrily. Some of you also might ask why I'm making a TF2 smasher pass in the first place. And to that I say, we don't touch grass here. Stop calling me gay. I f worms and sh You think that hurts my feelings? Because it does. And also there's only two girls in TF2. Kill me. Gidget, the Taco Bell Chihuahua. Finally, a mascot that makes sense. This is the only company that's branded itself with what's actually in the food. Smash. It has fish in it, and it... Wendy from Wendy's. I'm not talking about the founder's daughter. Of course I'm talking about the weird Twitter clapback internet cosplay version. I'm pretty sure she was designed to get drive through gremlins to relate sex with food so they can sauce themselves when they get Baconator boners. Smash. Ronald McDonald. Just when you thought clowns couldn't get any scarier, along comes one with the superpowers of cholesterol and my own cognitive dissonance about why I still crave his product. Pass. At least if I screwed Pennywise, I wouldn't get fat. Grimace. In his current stage, I don't know if I want to stick it in this weird purple blob. However, in the older version where he's evil and has six arms, I bet the man has crazy coordination and can give one hell of a sextuple knuckle juggle. Smash. Colonel Sanders. I know it was meant as a compliment, but I just really can't get into it after he called my ass finger licking good. Pass. The Burger King. I have always deeply mistrusted the king. I mean, he doesn't not have the eyes of someone who drowns newborns in fryer grease. I'm just saying that he happened to come out 13 years before the Zodiac killings, and we have no records of his whereabouts on September 8th, 2022. Smash, Jolly B. Is it me? Or did those eyes just stare burningly into your soul? Not only that, but if this thing is a bee, that means that it has a stinger. Ever have a stinging insect in your naughty bits? Because it's not an experience I'd like to repeat. Pass. The Arby's oven mitt. I didn't know Arby's 
could legally be classified as food. So using an oven mitt for the mascot reminds me that people do in fact eat here. Pass. God knows why. The Panda Express Panda. I'm not sure if this is the regular panda that the orange chicken is made out of, or an unwashed Discord mod and a patchwork abomination made from various semen crusted carpets. But one would be f a dirty animal, and the other is screwing a panda. So either way, it's a pass. Seriously, stop calling me a furry or else. Little Caesar. Fun fact is one time I got really trashed and wandered into the Little Caesar's corporate headquarters in Detroit and demanded that the security guard take me to THE Little Caesar, and instead he showed me THE door. Smash. I'll find you one day, my prince. Pizza, pizza. Chuck E. Cheese. Look at those dead soulless eyes. Usually I'm into dead soulless eyes, but having a Five Nights at Freddy's aesthetic is a huge turnoff. Pass. The Chick-fil-A CEO. For the record, I'm straight, but I also know that boomers don't understand internet humor, and this overly religious man would get pretty uncomfortable if he sees me saying smash. Wait, the mascot is a cow? That's f***ing stupid. The Noid. I've always found this weird pizza-stealing morph suit pervert especially annoying. Could you imagine trying to finish while hearing Pass. Jack in the box. How oh, Jack in here? Wow, that was really heinous. I'll be showing myself out now. Sponge monkeys. I'm not kidding. These were real. From the first Google Answers result. <clears throat> <clears throat> Sponge monkeys were the pair of horribly annoying, disfigured singing rodents that appeared in Quiznos commercials in 2004. One sings obnoxiously off-key while the other strums a few depressing chords on an out-of-tune guitar. It was one of the worst ideas in marketing history. <laughs> I just need to show you these things. We love these songs! Cause they are good to us! The Quiznos Someone put so much LSD in the water coolers at Quiznos Marketing. I have never eaten at a Quiznos, but if these represent Quiznos, I will eat nothing but Quiznos. Smash. Lucky the Lucky Charms Leprechaun. I don't know if Lucky Charms is a euphemism or whatever, but if it is, he's definitely referring to his balls. I'm just saying, if everyone is after his Lucky Charms, he's probably been around. Pass. I'm not trying to catch Leprechaunaria. <laughs> Tony the Tiger. I know that Tony looks great, but there's no way that that luscious chest is natty. The man is definitely on the roids, and that means that his junk has been turned into mashed potatoes. Pass. Fruit Loops Toucan Sam. That beak looks sharp as hell, and if this man is following his nose like he says he is, I'm pretty sure a beak job would end up tearing me from goo hole to poo hole. Pass. Count Chocula. No doubt this man gives the good suck. Although, he's got a Habsburg jaw that suggests he's been in bread for centuries, which does not bode well for his sensual tastes. No shade, but I like to keep my breeding out. Pass. Tricks Rabbit. Silly rabbit. Turning tricks isn't for kids. You're going to jail for child trafficking. Pass. Captain Horatio Magellan Crunch. You ever eat a lot of this strangely named nautical captain cereal and get the roof of your mouth all shredded up? I'm really afraid that's what the inside of the captain's holes feel like. So I'm gonna need to pass. The Rice Krispie Elves. I'm about to make them snap, crackle, and pop. Smash. No, literally, these are elves. I just snapped Crackle's spine with my dick and we need a tiny ambulance before he goes pop. The Cocoa Puffs bird. The the type of manic energy that this bird gets when he's cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs must be perfect for screwing. The noises would get a little bit annoying though. Pass. Cinnamon Toast Crunch Squares. Remember how they were all cannibalistic and the entire theme of the commercials was eating other members of their species and then themselves? Gotta give them props for originality. I've never seen a children's cereal marketed with vor. Smash. The Crazy Craving from Honeycombs. This thing is what happens when you take a hedgehog, give it sentience and then give it meth. For the record, honeycomb cereal feels nothing like meth. False advertising. Pass. Cornelius the Anti-Master and Cornflakes Rooster. I can't imagine that someone who isn't even cool with you doing it yourself is a fun person to get kinky with. Pass. Nothing wrong with vanilla, but I'm not gonna pretend it's the only flavor. Side note, cornflakes were actually invented to curb masturbation. And I just find it so strange that this was their solution. It's like, oh, you're, you're gonna touch your pee-pee? Not if my dry flavorless cereal with the car for a mascot has anything to say about that.
Like, what? The Flintstones. They're on a cereal box, so I'm counting them, and I don't care. Vilma Flintstone... Is that her name? Shit, wait, I gotta Google this. Uh, is that my thing in Scooby-Doo? Wilma. Wilma Flintstone. Some of you might be hesitant to dive right in because it was before the invention of toilet paper. But for me, th that's a bonus. Smash. The Raisin Brand Sun. I don't know about two scoops of raisins, but I'm about to give you two scoops of this dick. No. I... No, I... I don't want... I don't want anything. Can you go? You're making me very uncomfortable. Please leave. Chester Cheetah. I know being the cheesiest is kind of his thing, but using artificial cheese sauce and flaming hot Cheeto dust as lube sounds like a nightmare. Pass. I'm still not sure if y'all want to all these things and I'm scared. <laughs> The M&M's. For the majority of these little candies is gonna be a pass. The green one though, I know what you're thinking, they made her unsexy because the M&M boomers have no balls, but she still gets naughty when the Mars Corporation isn't looking. Smash. The Sun Made Raisins Girl. This is one of the ones where it's pretty easy because you're not asking me to screw some sort of animatronic rabbit or a big cat that's been barely surviving on Cheetos for years. Smash. Mr. Peanut. Hourglass shape for days, but but his head is the same thickness as his booty. Although if you're allergic, I think anaphylactic shock is technically choking. What am I talking about again? Smash. Nesquik rabbit. Well, here it is. The obligatory, I am not a furry one. Feel free to comment, as I am sure you already have, that I am a furry, you little sh** ass. Kool-Aid man. I'm about to buzz through something and say, oh yeah but it's not gonna be the wall. Smash. Pillsbury Doughboy. I imagine this will be exactly like sticking it in one of the Doughboy uh, cinnamon bun sleeves. Bake, let cool slightly, then smash. Miss Chiquita. A human woman with plentiful servings of fruit. That's it. There has to be some sort of trap here. I'll say smash, but I got my eye on you. Nestle starving third world child labor. First and foremost, of course it's a pass. I just said the word child, you monster. I just wanted to roast Nestle because I'm pretty sure the crunch in their candy is child bones instead of rice grains. The Pringles man. I might actually offend some of my audience with this, but I firmly feel that mustaches are kind of like face pubes. And I don't know if I'm about that. Pass. Sour Patch Kids. It it doesn't matter if first they're sour, then they're sweet, because they're kids. I'm perfectly okay with eating children alive. No one is arguing that that's not completely okay. But you want me to what? Who do you take me for, mini lad? Pass. The Tootsie Pop Owl. I'll find how many licks it takes to get to the center of your Tootsie Pop. Smash. Sometimes it genuinely hits me that this is essentially my only employment. The Vlasic Pickle Stork. Wait, that doesn't make any sense. Why is the pickle mascot a stork? Hello, pickles are my eggs and I lay approximately 400 every day. So you're just giving your children away to be eaten. What do you gain from this? I will trade you my eggs for medicine. I live in a cave. A strange man trying to lure me into a cave is kind of a red flag. The cold, awful green eggs that come out of my vagina must be eaten in front of me. I don't... I don't want any of your eggs. If you can make peace with God, then you can eat my eggs. Are you like... Okay. My blood is made of salt, and I will die in 20 minutes. I wonder how long a cheetah would actually live on only Cheetos. Do you think it would get morbidly obese or die from malnutrition? Is it possible to do both at the same time? Humans definitely already do this. Would you look at that? It's this guy. <laughs> yeah, right outside my window. That's awesome. Why is he here? I don't know. Don't much like it. Let's see if he'll go away. No? Okay. Alright, I'm done with this. Alright, we'll give it one more try. Nope. Okay, we're done. Saint Nick, aka Santa Claus. I know he's always spreading joy, but that's what I'm worried about. All this ho ho ho, and he goes to every house in the world in one single night. I'm worried he'll pass on a bit more than Christmas cheer. Pass. Yeah, I'll just spread a bit of joy. <laughs> okay, Santa. Can I get off your lap now? Yeah, get off. Santa is on a few lists here. Elves. So, I guess it's just a really short human with pointy ears. Those hands could fit anywhere and are supernaturally proficient at making things. I wonder if they're supernaturally proficient with anything else. Smash. 
Krampus, the evil anti-Santa that whips you with a bunch of sticks and then stuffs you in a sack. I'm not saying it's the weirdest first date I've ever had, but but it's a uh... It's up there. Mrs. Claus. It depends on the version of this mythological woman, because in some of them, she's kind of like a grandmother, so I won't be indulging in her milk and cookies. However, some versions of her were made by people who were really horny. So, smash. The Coca-Cola Polar Bear. If this is just a polar bear, then foreplay would consist of getting your arm bitten off before it clamps its jaws and fangs tightly around your crotch giblets, so I'm gonna have to pass. Ebenezer Scrooge. Scraggly old miser really isn't on my bang list. Even if they do learn the true spirit of Christmas, I'm gonna pass. The Grinch. Is it just me, or did they make the Grinch, like, unnecessarily thick? Where in the job description of learning the spirit of Christmas mandates a Kim K dump truck? Doesn't matter to me. Smash. Jack Frost. I'm not one to kink shame anyone, because to be real, I'd be throwing rocks in a glass house. But why is he nipping at my nose? Who the fuck? bites noses. Is he like making a tight seal and trying to suck all the mucus out of my sinuses? Too risky. Pass. The guy from Baby It's Cold Outside, who none of us realized might have been committing a crime until like 2012. I'm still gonna listen to this song, because now it has a dark yet somehow comical undertone, and also cause Nostaligma. What's Nostaligma? Nostaligma ball! Frosty the Snowman. Cold makes every appendage I have shrivel back up into my body, so even if I wanted to screw this pile of slush, it'd be a catch-22. Pass. Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. We'll see how shiny that nose is when I'm done with my reindeer games. I really am just a heinous individual. Smash. The Christmas ham that you may or may not be currently enjoying as you watch this video. You know what? It's Christmas. And for once, I'm gonna get in the spirit and not ruin everything. Keep eating the ham. Smash. A Christmas tree. I've said it before, and I'll say it a million times. I don't think anything is worth dick splinters. Pass. Jesus. Everyone says do unto thy neighbor what you want done unto you. Smash. Good thing I'm Jewish, cause otherwise I'd be going straight the f to hell. Although I doubt this is the straw that breaks the camel's back. That dead horse is in an advanced state of decomposition. God. Holy shit. If I wasn't going straight to hell beforehand, I just sealed my fate with this smash. The Virgin Mary. Okay, this this joke is old now. This is just blasphemy overkill. The Geico Gecko. I know a real human woman that is completely genuine when she says she wants to fuck the Geico Gecko. And honestly, I gotta agree with her. Smash. <laughs> Flow from Progressive. I have no idea why, but I find Flo from Progressive to be the most infuriating mascot I have ever laid eyes upon in my entire life. I'm fully aware that she did nothing wrong, and the actress behind her is probably a fine person, but every time I look into her vacant, soulless, insurance-adjusting eyes, I just get an unignorable inclination towards violence. Smash, but it's gonna be a hate f The General. Do you guys remember the commercials where the General is hanging out with Shaq? My question is if Shaq butt f the general, would the general survive? Or would Shaq's d pop out the top of the general's mouth after rupturing all of his organs? W what the hell am I talking about again? Pass. The Allstate guy. Is your dick in good hands? Smash. I'm sorry, I had to. That was a slam dunk. The Allstate mayhem guy. The mayhem guy is kind of like that person you want as a sneaky link, but not exactly as your friend. Sure, they're um. fun, and they're always gonna have something new up their sleeve, but they're just gonna dump their problems in your lap and be nowhere to be found when you need help. Pass. The Limu Emu. For the last time, I am not a furry. Sometimes I think you guys just click on these videos for the sole reason of commenting that I am a furry. And if that's the case, go ahead and Google Freudian projection. Pass. Doug, the Limu Emu's sidekick. How incompetent do you have to be to be placed as the sidekick to a wild bird? The answer is as incompetent as it takes to miss your shot at some pipe. Pass. The I do not have insurance drunken driver. You know, in my opinion, this is a really underrated option when it comes to insurance. 
once. As the great Schlatt always says, it's the drunk crashers that get us in trouble. Smash. The Aflac duck. You know how the Aflac duck goes, Aflac! Also, you know how ducks have corkscrew dongs and most duck sex is non-consensual, which means the fact that ducks not only survive but thrive is a dark indication about the tenuous relationship between morality and nature? What sound do you think the Aflac duck makes while he's screwing, and why isn't he in jail? Pass. Jake from State Farm. Jake from State Farm at 3 in the morning? Who is this? It's Jake from State Farm. What are you wearing, Jake from State Farm? Uh, khakis. She sounds hideous. Well, she's a guy, so... Pass. Meat Canyon. Just look at how handsome Hunter is. With a name like Meat Canyon, you already know those holes can get sloppy. Smash. It'd be a shame if we... kissed. Is this what you want? Ah! This is all a joke, please don't get mad at me. Wendigoon. Are we talking about the human version or the Wendigoon plushie? That goober is such a flirt. Smash even commented that he liked my Mr. We Fwesh pit. Ooh. Every day the regret gets greater. Number 15. Chills. The original monotone spooky YouTuber. I wonder if he does the voice during coitus. Oh yes. Harder daddy. Smash. Kane Pixels, the creator of the Backrooms Found Footage series. The Backrooms was my entire channel for a few months last year. I'll no clip into your backroom step, sis. Smash. Brugly. I'm not saying Brugly's not a baddie, but what I am saying is I do go back to the Backrooms every once in a while. What if it got weird? It'd be like screwing someone from work. You're regularly required to be in the same room. It might be smart to pass for safety. If you have sex with everyone you know, you're bound to lose a few friends. Next bow. I love their content, but I'm not really sure who they are. I mean, I've made $400,000 by sending pictures of my feet on Twitter under the name of Jessica, so you can never be really sure. Smash. The same thing could be said for anyone on the internet. Tail Foundry. I can't see a mouth anywhere on this robot, nor can I see any other sort of hole. I think there would probably be a place to charge it, but if the last time I stuck my dick in an electrical socket is any indication of how that would go, I'm I'm gonna have to say pass. Nightmind. The ambiance here is so cozy. I feel like the Tinder date would be watching horror during a thunderstorm next to a fireplace with Coco on a bearskin rug that a bunch of other people have definitely fucked on like in the movies. Smash. Alex Bale. Not only has he created multiple of my favorite series on YouTube, we also both love Spongebob. I'm about to put the meat in Happy Meat Farms. Smash. Nerd explains. When you try to murder as many anomalous creatures as I do, his how to beat videos come in handy. Smash, let's see if he knows how to beat this meat. AZFK, did you just ask me if I jerk it? Smash, like six times a day, dude, it's almost a problem. Nikocado avocado, everything is a big thing. I bet you a million dollars the amount of humans that have jerked off to his content is above zero. To those who say that this isn't a horror channel, at this point, it's basically found footage media about a man slowly descending into McMadness. Pass, but I hope he gets help. Dead Meat. This channel does great in-depth explanations. However, when balls deep in someone else, I don't want them to be describing the entire plot of The Shining. Pass. Scare Theater. This is actually the first horror channel I remember watching on YouTube. Kinda got me into horror YT. Smash. Who doesn't look back on their first time with fondness? Pastra. I've been lurking and twerking and jerking my way across the horrorverse and I have yet to find an aesthetic that hits quite like this guy. Smash. I like them stylish and deranged. Giant. So basically just a giant human. I've been inside of someone, but I've never been like inside of someone, inside of someone, like in a literal sense. I'll try anything once. Smash. Excuse me, sir, I'm gonna need you to put your hands behind your back. We can't have this sort of smut being shown online. This is a damn ugly world we live in. Medusa. How well does she control those snakes? Because I could imagine her head feeling crazy if they got involved. But if they're basically just feral snakes stapled to her head, getting involved means biting my ball back. Uh. They're pretty close to her brain, and I mean, I'm already stoned. Smash. Hydra. Cut off one head and two grow in its place. I'll just keep a big axe on me to slice off the new heads and exponentially increase the total amount of probable knob gobbling while I'm already getting knob gobbled. Smash. Ogre. Shrek is love. Shrek is life. 
I'm about to peel away his layers like an onion. Smash right in those long ogre ears. What the hell even do I fucking make anymore? Leprechaun, kiss me. I'm Irish. I'll follow the rainbow down to your pot of gold, baby. Maybe I shouldn't have made my pickup lines borderline offensive. Well, pass to you too, green ginger midget troll. Are we talking about the pay the toll, solve my riddles under a bridge style troll? Or is it that fat guy on Xbox Live that lowered my self-esteem with his mean words? Smash. Either way, after what he said to me, I don't deserve standards. Imp. It really depends on the specific imp for me. For context, I'm gonna put two Google image search results for the word imp right next to each other. You see what I mean? You, you see what I gotta deal with here? Pass. This is a toss-up. Dragon. Not a furry nor a scaly, but also anyone who wants to f*** dragons probably has a pretty hard time finding a living, breathing, warm body to sleep with them. So I can't go stealing their screen printed scaly pillow girlfriend? Pass. I'm a monster, but I'm not a monster. Unicorn. I could see someone falling in love with this magical spiky horse if they have a thing for shoving heated metal rods up their urethra, but fortunately that someone is not me. Pass. Chimera. A fire breathing abomination with the body and head of a lion, another head of a goat, the udders of a goat, and a beefy ass danger noodle for the tail. You all most had me with the wide selection and diversity of options, but I don't want to stick any part of my body near something labeled fire breathing. Pass. Centaur. If I have to stick it in the horse butt, it's a pass. But if I can throw a blanket over the weird horsey giblets and then just deal with the woman connected to it at the hips, then it's a smash. Gnome. Are you kidding? This one can give top standing up. Smash. Fairy. So is this like a human sized fairy or one of those weird little dragonfly sized fairies? Since I don't want one of these things inside of me, I'm just going to assume it's the human sized one. Smash, it's a girl with bug wings. Jobs in 1920. I fought in the Great War! Jobs now. I pretend to f monsters to get strangers to watch an advertisement? You see all these mythical monsters created to strike fear into the hearts of your children so they don't wander off into the f***ing woods and die? Yeah, I just failed No Nut November to all of them. Imagine what I would do to a human that didn't like, comment, and subscribe with all notifications enabled. I wouldn't want to find out. Shout out to the inner circle. Love y'all. I <laughs>